Like Sorry for the delay. I do appreciate people being here. And coming back and waiting it out with us. We are now live again. TCH live. Houston on Westheimer. 6100 Westheimer Suite 142. Back in hand number 19, so we only got to miss like seven hands. So we do apologize about that, guys. Uh, the stats kept going, so we'll get to see all the stats and see what people are up and down and what the VPIP is and all of that. So, again, thank you for holding out. We definitely appreciate it. And coming into this, we got Steve raising it to 150 here. JB makes a call. No, oh, and so does Penn. Three-way action. Almost 500 in this pot. 10-8-10 10, on the flop. Was that an eight of hearts? On the flop, it was an eight of hearts. Only two hearts. There's a nine. So now both Steve and JB have open ended. So Steve with the best hand here didn't make the raise pre flop. Penn has no way to win except for betting, so 375 is a bet. You can feel fairly confident to call here. Which he did. He did make the call. Good call for Steve. So, looking at it now, it looks like JB is up 1.6. David's up uh, one and a half, pretty much. Steve is now up. And uh, Matt right now is our the biggest loser so far at the table for 1.5. Yeah, that river. I'm sure he will get that back throughout the night. So JB here in seat number six, who's up the most right now, did over the weekend take down a large tournament, taking home $45,000 for his victory. Congratulations, JB, on that victory this weekend. Brent only making a call here. Catman with the raise to 60. Andre makes the call as well three-handed to the flop and I'll will explain that kill button in just a little bit all spades ace nine five here so Brett with the pair and flush draw Catman might throw a feeler out which it looks like he is Here comes to the turn. Four on the turn. No help for Catman. Now drawing dead. No cards he can get to win. I think only a big bet on the river is going to win this. Assuming Brett doesn't improve. Brett does have the tendency to play cautiously. So maybe he folds here. And he did. <laughs> Shows the bluff. So our kill button, for those who haven't been watching these last few weeks, our kill button is you win a pot, you win the kill button. 
If you win two consecutive hands, you get $25 from each player on the table. Which right now would be $175 until we fill the last seat. Then it would be $200. If you win a third consecutive hand, you win an additional $25 from each player. If you lose the hand, it goes into the middle for the next person to win the kill button. Yes, Aubrey, I will post that. I, I agree with you. Um, I think I see a, a river myself. So Steve raises it to 50. Andre makes the call. David's probably not going to see it at 50. Makes it 250. Penn lays it down, Steve lays it down, and I imagine Andre's going to do the same. Give me kill button, Tim. <laughs> so as you can see, a lot of our players are wearing purple tonight. It's like the purple people leaders sitting here at the table. Yeah, it's Catman's game, 5-5-10, five, five, no limit hold'em, often 20 or 40, sometimes 80, and even more. I think last week we even had it all the way up to 640, which means a straddle all the way to the button. Kill button's in the middle. You got it. A straddle to 85 by Catman. Andre calls. Catman raises it up. Andre calls the raise. Now Catman doesn't flop anything. And Andre is going to lead out, or is going to make a bet here. Good bet by Andre there, taking down the pot and getting the kill button on top of it. Good bet. I mean, if you have a person that raised pre-flop, doesn't continue on the flop there, Aubrey, and, and I will put this up. So I like the block bet versus an aggressive player. So I was saying I, I agree with you versus an aggressive player that raised a pre-flop, checks the flop, and you have position on to throw a bet out there. Um, I like it. it. It is better. Sounds like we're having a little bit of technical issues with our button, but I'm sure it'll get fixed in just a moment. And there is a straddle all the way up to 205, looks like. I like it. 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 I like
I like it. Let it ride. Let it ride. Please give me something good so I can re-rate it. Let it ride. Like the dumbest thing. All right, cool, whatever. Ugh. I don't think he's done that. I don't even think I could have made a move with you, That's the bad part. That's the hardest part. That's the hardest part. You got to have something. 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 And that's the thing I did. They're not going to give you a free ride. Look, I know that for sure, so. Look, I thought oh, about it. Nah, I look, I, wow, I Ace Nine by Catman making it 500 and Pen having pocket kings here on a straddle that's and he just jams and a snap call. This is a game. This is a game. Oh my God! What's why? What's why? What's why? Hey, so it looks like they're going to run it twice. Two full boards here. Ace nine versus pocket kings. No help to Catman. It's a five thousand dollar pot here. Looking for an ace and an ace only on the river. No ace there. That one goes to Catman. Now the. Uh, Next flop. No help to Catman again. Does pick up backdoor draw or hearts. Has a heart and a deuce now, along with his aces, and misses it all. Wow! Hey, reward. And he gets the kill, but reward on the two line. He wakes up with the kings and the 200 straddle. 24 and 86. Watch this. No one. Like a smash for fourth. That's pretty sick. Straddle 200. Hey, hold up. He's saying, okay, yeah, I'll go ahead and straddle the two. It picks up. So Penn taking a huge pot. $5,000 to start it off. Look at that. Already over 2000 up. Yeah. The funny thing was a pair of fours were good. Yeah, when he said pair, I'm thinking, I'm seeing all these like 10, 6s, 3s. I'm like, he get a set somewhere. I know, right? I'm like, you can get some kind of. No. Top top, 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 top. 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 It was a good hand, I agree, RJ8. Nice hand by Penn, that's for sure. Wake it up with pocket kings and a $200 straddle definitely helps. I'll say that. So I'll, I'll, I'll speak on that, Aubrey, in just a moment. But here to this hand, Penn jams it again with ace-king offsuit this time. And this is the power of the kill button. People are not going to believe you. Thank you, thank you. Three folds. <laughs> Catman says take the rest. He's putting, putting in the other $700. Here we go to a flop. 7 6 versus Ace yes, King. That's Keep it low. That might not be that. Yeah, it is not this. That's a lot of time. So we need to six, see a six, 7 or a 6, six here. Oh, yeah, Ace King. Ace King, yeah. Come on, you hit a pair. What do you need? 7, 7. 6 or 7. 6 or 7. And no, sir. Ace King is good. I'm going to put this here. Hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. 
The pin off to a hot start, winning back to back. Huge pots. Now it's up over 3,000 already in a short period of time. So Aubrey says, uh, to be honest, I, I don't hate him attacking a $200 straddle like that. Uh, it's just unfortunate he woke up with King. You know, I, I agree. I think the, uh, the raise with Ace-9 is a good raise to a $200 straddle. Oops, that was the wrong comment. But uh, agreed. But you uh, maybe you need to find a, uh, some raise folds there versus a player like Penn, who will float a lot, but doesn't seem to make many bluffs in those spots. Um, you know, some raise folds is, is I, I agree, but he didn't. I mean, he was in for 500 was his raise. And then you go up another two thousand. I mean, it, it's a rough, it's a rough spot. And I think that's kind of how he felt when he just put his chips in there pretty quick. So it's, uh, I, I, I don't mind the play. Is is what Aubrey said. Uh, it's a difficult fold, I think, uh, for Catman, uh, which he did not. He did not make the uh, the the right fold. Looks like we got a new player to seat at number eight, too, coming in. Looks like Catman's night might be done. I think he said he was going to go eat. So, But Matt raising it up to 350. guys we're back up and we are live again uh, so no the small blind game is not on that, that was the question if oops so asking if the small blind game is on it is not on tonight just the kill game thank you LV hope you're having a good night yourself Uh, David now with Ace King does raise it up to 100. Penn, like taking pots down, makes the call with Jack 3 suited. To a flop we go, and a Jack High flop. So a good check, probably going to induce a bet, which it did. A call is good. Another jack on the flop. I like a lead. Most people won't. So it goes check, check. That's why I like a lead. And now jack's full for pen. Now a bet here is good, but I like a small bet. 150. It, it looks like he makes a very large bet. You're, it's it's going to be hard to get paid off on 500. That you're you're very polarized in this aspect here. You have it or you don't have anything. It's it's bluff or nuts. Uh, and he makes the call. Shows the bad news to David. Uh, well, actually, for front, sir. <laughs> The pen is on a huge run right now. 
up almost 4,000 already for the night, and when you add the bounty games into it, he is definitely up over 4,000. Continuing his heater from last week, he was up over 8,000. I'll comment on that in just a moment, RJH. Two players, two a flop. There was a raise to 25 and another raise to 100. It looks like there's a queen jack on the flop. So top two pair for Penn. Andre is going to lead out. Penn does have that kill button, so you know he's going to be in here anyways. Looks like Penn's wanting a color up as well. Now we got an eight. On the turn, does give outs to Andre, so any nine is going to hit that gutter. Penn bets 125. You know a call's coming in. That did happen. There's a call. So to the river. Now the king of hearts. Somewhat of a scary card for Queen Jack. I would be betting here as well. Does bet 400. Don't mind the sizing there. It's going to be a difficult call for Andre to, to make the here. Especially with his stack size. Keep getting there. Keep getting there. Keep getting there. Yeah, yeah. Gets yeah. the kill button. I mean, keeps the kill button as well. So. So this does say, you know, I don't mind the sizing by Penn versus David in particular. Got a call. He wanted. Nice hand. Uh, it was a good hand. And I don't mind the sizing. It's not the sizing. I just think you get called less frequently when you polarize your bet. Um, Thank you. I think there's more a likelihood of him to call with ace high when you bet about 150 into that pot. Um, like I said, you, you do need to change it up. You cannot keep it consistent like that. So doing a polarized but over bet like that is, is perfectly fine. All right, we're going five ways to a flop. Sorry, guys. I had a little bit of a distraction. We got king, queen, eight on this flop. Pen flopping bottom set and having the the kill button. So a gut shot for Andre, a queen for Brett, a gut shot for JB. Bottom set, and then Steve is, I'm sure, letting this one go right about now. Yishio, I will, I will say that again for you in just a moment. Let's finish off this hand. Here we go. Heads up to the turn now. A five, no help at all. Wish it would a club would have came. It would have been more interesting. JB's going to make continue this story. He's been into a set. You know, you know Penn's not going anywhere. 
And I will describe the chips in just a moment as well. 475 is the bet. 475 is the call. Excuse me. 1.1K. Quarters all around coming in with the kill button. So perfect time to describe it now since he gets to keep this kill button. What does the kill button mean and do? All right, so we have a prop game going on. Uh, whoever has the kill button, uh, you get it from winning a pot. Once you win a pot, you have the kill button. If you win the consecutive hand after that, everybody at the table will pay $25. So if you win another hand after that, so the three hands in a row, everybody again will pay you $25 at the table. If you lose the hand, if you fold or just straight up lose like at showdown or anything like that, uh, you have to give up the kill button. It goes into the pot. The winner of that pot then receives the kill button, and they have the opportunity to get that. So Penn right now is definitely killing it on that kill button game. I saw he just looking at Eric Collins like, wow. Eric flop like, wow. 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 I'm not doing the bidding. That's why I make it a little worse for us. Y'all bid me. Hey, thank you for that, LV Coleman. Appreciate that. Appreciate all the likes that we get here. We want to see a lot of them, that's for sure. So three players of this flop, Penn does flop best here. So it looks like Matt check, pen bet 75, Andre calls. Matt also called there with the gutter. He does not hit anything, checks it. <laughs> That's another 25 from everybody by Penn. Uh, you see, I'll let him know that he's got a fan here. So we got a pen. <laughs> we got a pen fan club. Look at that. He's already over 5,000 up on the night. And we are now 28 minutes into this stream. So 30 minutes in. Wow, oh wow. You know, Penn last week was our big winner. Uh, he's up like eight to nine thousand dollars last week. He won the biggest pot in TCH Houston's live stream history. It was a twenty thousand dollar pot. And he won it. Uh, it was a phenomenal, phenomenal setup hand. It was just, it was brutal. As soon as that flop came out, you would know. You need to watch last week's stream, everybody. And it was right just before the three hour mark, particularly, but that is definitely the hand of the night we'll be talking about for a long time. So we got three ways here. Penn and Andre, both with ace five. David with jack ten. Penn makes the bet. Andre folds his chop. Now gutter, nothing. Only way David could win is by betting. And Penn's probably gonna bet because he has the kill button. Bet's 250, so there's the overbet again. David, it's like I can't do anything about it. Oh, 
So, asked if we ever run Omaha high low. Um, rarely, we have a high low game here. Uh, not often, but sometimes we do. I think Penn has now won four or five consecutive hands here. Uh, that is true, RJH, is what you said. They do run the Omaha High Low game up in Spring location. It's uh, if anybody needs to know, it's it's uh, on Highway 45 North, the northbound side. Uh, if you exit number 70, the Tomball exit, it is going to be right there in the shopping center. It was right next door to the water park. Uh, 40. Five calls. So David makes the raise to 40. Brett calls. JB calls. You know Penn's calling. He's got the kill button. Nine calls. Five ways to a flop. Queen seven nine on this flop. So Andre has the pair of sevens. <laughs> I actually have a little bit of a tiny bit of a story about that A Town. So we'll I'll say that in just a moment. Three players to the turn. Four diamonds, no help. I mean, Penn can win this hand. Does not get any help. Only a bet's going to win. I don't think anybody's going to believe him. If he <laughs> it's hard to believe him. It's hard to believe him. Especially when Brett's going to have the nuts here. So uh, definitely not getting through. He's going to get raised. Uh, there's really no other raise but all in, which is not going to get a call. So. <laughs> he says, "Give me a count." Let me let me think about if I'm going to call with Jack High. He is not calling here. He has a smile on his face. This is flush draw. So A Town said uh, yesterday he told them to start calling them all in pin. Uh, so that's going to be his name. It's funny that you say that. Um, he has signed up on our, the Poker Alice for the list as all in pin. So he's uh, obviously getting a fan club here tonight. So way to go, Penn. He's being the biggest winner right now, too. That's 5K up here. That doesn't even count prop bets, which is probably another 1,000 up on top of that already. There you go, A Town. That's uh, like I said, right before <laughs> three hours, right before. So that's awesome. Thank you for the timestamp. That's a. It was a massive pot last week. Six raises, one thirty. And a five five ten game having a twenty k pot is a uh, is a huge pot. Andre here. What is Andre going to do with pocket sevens against JB? JB is normally one of the more tighter players on the table, so it's hard to raise. I think set mining is better. David making the call. I 
I think I'm just putting two, two, two and two together. I have a question right here for RJH in just a moment. But to a flop, I mean, Brett flopping bottom two pair here. David has the flush draw. Ace Jack gone. I, I, I mean, personally, I'm feeling pretty comfortable with pocket sevens, but not for $500. Pretty sure he's going to lay this one down. Which he does. There's a call. Looking for a club and a club only right now. There it is. Can we get the three of clubs on the river? Oh my gosh. Nice. Ow. Wow, that, that's rough. David checks on both streets, too, which is quite awkward. Just jams. I don't like the jam, but it's not an overbet. $1,200 into this pot. See Catman in the background there. I would imagine David calls. He does make the call. Nine's full of threes. Makes the reluctant call, too. I'm coming for the record, bro. Come on. Oh, yeah, we got to give you 25, right? Yes. Oh, you made 25? I'm going to give you green. I gave you green. That's how you want to treat me. Is that how you want to treat me? I didn't get it from everybody. That's a that's a big pot, almost four thousand dollars in that pot with eight eight deuce and nine three. Somehow ended up both with really good hands and getting it all in. So David's struggling there, one thousand. So R J H, I got the question for you: Is this the same R J H that we've commentated with? Is this R J? Yeah, I'm not playing with three unless it's a killer. Of course. Dude, you have equity. You have two hundred dollars on that. Yeah. Okay. It's like three equity. On to a new hand. Three. Uh, three thousand yeah. uh, behind. This side is a bad life decision. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Uh, and we have to. And he did. Uh, it's going to be all this three. So. No, no. If he has one K. Doesn't make the straddle to twenty. Matt raising it up to a hundred with King Ten. Here we go. Four ways to a flop. Thank you, Yishi. I will show it in just a moment. So it's four or five jack on the flop. Get a jack by David, and he ends up checking it, which hurts him because Brett now pay, takes the lead with the kill button on top of that. Matt picks up the open ended on top of that, so you're gonna have three ways to the t or the river. And an eight of spades, so close to that nine. I thought it was a nine. Brett is most likely going to take this down with two pairs, so I don't see him folding at all. I, I, I do like a bet, though, which he did not do. More bomb or more uh, kill button prop bets coming in. So RJ is saying, like Eric, by the way, my name is Eric. Uh, yes, this is RJ trying to connect to the stream, even though I couldn't make it there to commentate in person. Well, hope to have you back over here soon. Um, enjoyed the time together. So she says, Good commentary. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. RJ also says, 
This is great stuff on your end. Really appreciate it. <laughs> uh, do, we, do we need to put the disclaimer in there, RJ? I mean, uh, and, and just so Penn knows, uh, in case he ever sees this, I'm happily married to my wife, just trying to support a guy who I think is a good dude. Uh, Penn is it, Penn is a really great guy. Uh, he's a lot of fun to be around. Um, he's a very generous guy, and uh, he's just overall fun to talk to. <laughs> so Yishi says, so "Is Penn a happily married man, or?" Uh, you know, I don't know that answer, um, but I don't think I've ever seen a ring on his finger, so might just have to come down here and play next to him and find out. So our V-Pips, Andre is over 50. David is high up there. That's way high for him compared to usual. He's almost at 50% himself. JB does make a... The call, excuse me, with ace three of clubs. What the hell? Treat this like a tournament bubble, okay? This is a bubble, right? This is a bubble. This is a bubble. So you know Brett's calling. He does have the kill button. Seven ten king on this flop pen flopping best. Everybody checks around. Nine of hearts on the turn. It does give open ended to David. Seven still holds strong at the moment. In the deuce. The deuce. Wow, what a boring river. The deuce. Everybody checks. Pin's going to take it down with a pair of seven. He wants his kill button back. So, speaking of Poker Atlas before, Poker Atlas is having a stop for their tour up in Dallas and lost Kalinas with over 3 million in guarantees. Starting August the 15th through September the 15th, if you have not made plans to go, uh, start doing so. It's only a couple weeks away to make it happen. Um, they have all ranges of tournaments. Hey, Maddie. What's up, guy? Hey, you were supposed to be here like an hour ago. I know, I know. We're good, guys. Something came up. What's up, bro? On to a new hand. Here we go. Pen raising it up with the kill button. Ace Jack to 75. Nobody ever believes the kill button. That's the great part about this prop game. You can see how many callers there are. We're going to have five ways to a $75 raise. 385 in the middle. Eight four queen on the flop. David flop in middle pair. We got JB having the flush draw. Andre having the same flush draw. Another queen helps nobody except David probably feels a little more better or er, a little better with his ace, which he does make the bet. You're probably going to get a call from JB, 175, which he did. Pen is the time now to fold. Don't know if he will. He has the kill button. He did make the fold. He made the good lay down. Is Andre going to fold his flush draw? Matt joins the game. Welcome, Matt. Seat number two. 
No help to Andre there, which is better for him than he didn't. So there's an eight, and an eight takes it down. Nice hand, David. So uh, Matt has been on our stream several, several times. Uh, a lot of people know him as Dr. Matt or Nice Hair Matt. Uh, I've heard him <laughs> called both. So welcome, Matt. Seat number two looks like he's... I did not hear how much he's going to be buying in for, but I'm sure we'll see in just a moment. See? People talking about his hair right there. Dude, I need more of that. So here we go. Some of the events at the Poker Atlas Tour will stop. We have a 1.5 million guarantee on the main event, the title event, starting August the 3rd, 30th through September the 5th. So you have Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then a Sunday of all these different flights. You have five different, excuse me, 10 different flights. Two a day, 11 a.m. and 4 p.m. every single day to get in. It's a thousand dollar buy-in with a 40k starting stack. It is a phenomenal tournament with a 1.5 million guarantee. That's a massive guarantee. So again, if you have not made plans to get out to Dallas, uh, August 30th. That's the first day to go and join that tournament. Matt raises it up. To, uh, Matt in seat number seven raises it up to 225. Ten calls to 225. David and JB all call. Four ways to a flop. 900 in the pot. 8-8 eight, eight, deuce. No help to anyone. Ten, ten, ten of spades, ten of spades. Ten of hearts, almost the ten of spades. Um, I mean, he's a little suspicious. Um, he purposely missed. Call a card and check it. Nine, nine of clubs. Please tell me that. Okay. Ace of hearts. So, Penn getting the best hand here. Going from 10% to the winner. If he stays in. Matt trying to fire at it to represent. It's not going to get through. Somebody's calling him. Penn makes the call. Everybody folds. So, Penn is going to take it down. So, TCH commentators and TCH family, hello, how are you? Well, I can say I am doing wonderful. Thank you. I really enjoy commentating with you guys. Uh, it is a lot of fun for me, and watching this game is... It is is great entertainment as well. So, again, if you... If you have not yet subscribed to TCH Live, please make sure you click on the subscribe button. It helps us out a lot. Same with the likes. It puts us out there for the YouTube algorithm. And uh, we're trying to really, really grow this TCH Houston game, uh, live stream game. So just by hitting that simple like button helps us out tremendously. So Andre raising it up to 85 with Kings. JB's definitely going to be calling, which he did. Penn's probably going to make the call too, just with the kill button. I usually do okay. I'm not going to crush the game. Oh, excuse me. JB didn't call. He raised the 230. 
came in last place. I got it. I got it. Well, Andre raises it up. JB calls. Uh, two full boards? Or you want to do flop and then two turns, two pulls? Two full. Alright, two full boards, Joe. Two full boards. No help to JB. Six on the turn, still no help. Looking for an ace and an ace only, but does not get there on the first one. Now to the second board. That's a king, no, that's not good. He's running 99%, so he needs running aces. Nope, it's over. It is the full pot going over to Andre. Congrats, Andre. Welcome to the stream. It's just enough to easy call it. That's it. That's it. What comedian has a grand? Six hundred dollars. He has everything. Six what? Six hundred dollars. He's like three hundred dollars. He's nice, Jamie Fox. Kevin Hart probably. No, maybe. A Grammy for singing, not oh, for Grammy. A Grammy for singing. Forty power. Oh, Canadian. I guess we could say Will Smith. Did you have thirty on the last one? No, he had six. Eddie Murphy. Twenty-five. He has a Grammy for singing. Hush all. Party all the time. I'm a big day, right? So they said, who's got a Grammy, the comedian that has a Grammy? Well, my guess to that would probably have to be, um, I can't think of his name now. Oh my gosh, I can't think of his name. It's annoying me. I can tell you he played in a movie. Oh, jeez. I can't think of his name. It's frustrating to me. Somebody in the comments, please. Tell me a comedian that has won a Grammy. Not Chappelle. Definitely not Chappelle. It's the guy that says, hey, take my money, all my... Uh, the Gold Digger song. He sings in the Gold Digger song. Audience with Kanye West. West. Will Smith is a good guess too. I don't know if he's won a Grammy though. Jamie Foxx, that's the guy I was thinking of. Richard Pryor? So Jamie Foxx has won it. All right. Thank you, Levi. No, really? RJ? Anyway, let's get to this hand. Sorry, guys. Kind of got distracted. The raise to 40 by Andre. Matt raising it up to 180. Andre calls. And we come out. Queen, uh, excuse me. Jack, King, Ace on the flop. Matt flopping best here. Andre with the gutter and bottom pair. Yeah, you did. I mean, you've got good cards, but you played them well. I mean, you can fuck up with cards, too. Okay. Excuse the language. Yeah, I've seen Matt do fuck up real good. Yeah, dude. You can give me the best cards, I'll still find a way to fuck it up. Several times. I'll just fold the nuts. Back to nuts. Yeah. I made a bad I, mean, I made a bad pull against Catman earlier. When he had the 10 8. Uh, I had the ace there. You got an ace there? Uh, I had an ace 10. I had ten. 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 a great ace. Ten. I also had a spade redraw 10. Six of spades on the turn. Yeah. I should have called him. Or actually, I should have called him. I should have just gone all in. Right. I mean, I've seen David pull the straight. Oh. After, after he tabled it. So there's a bet to 250 by Andre. Matt's probably going to make at least a call here. He does make a call. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? It's on me. Oh, you're ready for this shot. 
It's on him. It's on him. Is that lucky or what? Alright, I'm in. If Matthew's in, I'm in. If the whole if the whole table's in, I'm in. Alright, ten buying us around the shots. That's for the whole table though. Yep. Sure. Two pair for Matt, and he's going to take it down with a check check. Pens up. He said over 7,000, and I believe it with the prop bets. He's got 9,200 in his stack. It's a massive win in a ma in less than an hour. I like my uppers and downers together. Should go to a Red Bull and alcohol. Twenty dollars straddle. Full three. Kids David's going to raise here. There was a straddle to 20, so a raise to 60. Brett only calls. He, he tends to do that. He does not raise very often. Strength in numbers. Oh, oh, shit. Really? What a dick, man. I've never seen a full It's never coming back to you now. Who has it? It's in the pot. Whoever wins this pot. Five ways to the flop. <laughs> Three four jack on this flop. JB has top pair. David making a stab. JB's gonna call. It's heads up. Somebody said, nice hand, David. Uh, queen on the turn. David's looking for an ace and an ace only. Wow, makes a full good bet, David. That's the uh, advantage of playing a little bit tighter. When you do bluff, it's easier to bluff. Because uh, people are going to give you that respect and uh, that you've earned by playing tighter. So, congrats, David, with that hand. And still talking about the Poker Atlas Tour. There's another one million guarantee at Dallas. It's called the Dallas Duel. It's being held at both locations, Dallas and Las Colinas. So you have 15 different flights at 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Our flights, the 10 a.m. flights are in Dallas, the 2 p.m. flights are in Las Colinas, but there's also a turbo every single day at, uh, excuse me, at the Dallas location at 5 p.m. So you have five days of it, Tuesday through Saturday. Day two is at 1 p.m. on Sunday, so that is going to be a good one, and I'll get back to that in just a moment, talk about the buy-in and everything. I know it is something that I'm interested in. So I hope you guys are as well. Then we get to start talking about tournaments that are being held here. TCH Houston. To a flop. Jack nine ace on this flop. Yes, Matt, only pocket eights. It's a bad flop for pocket eights. Good turn, though. And a 10 on the river. A pair of jacks is going to be good. Makes the bet of 175. Everybody folds, takes down the pot. Gets the kill button. So as I was saying, here with a million guarantee, the Dallas Duel, it's a $500 buy-in tournament, 30K to the starting stack. 
And this is going to be August the 15th through the 21st. So a little before the main event, which starts on the 30th. This one's 15th through 21st. Um, if you're looking for uh, a good tournament, this one's, this one's pretty good. You got a million guarantee. Uh, I can imagine with the million guarantee, it's going to over 100K, I'm sure, to first. I, I mean, don't quote me on that, guys. I don't know. Uh, for sure, but I would imagine it is. I would not honestly be surprised if it's over 200,000. But here we go. Matt raising it up to 50. Penn makes the call. Steve raises it up to 300. <laughs> Matt asked if he had the kill button. Uh, the answer is no. So Matt calls the 300. I'm imagining... Well, never mind. Penn's going to make a call as well. Three ways to a flop. 900 in the pot. 665 on this flop. No help to anybody. Steve, you got to continue your story. You got to bet. I like a bet of like 400. Does make it 450. Good sizing. It should go fold, fold here. I mean, he does have, he makes the call. I mean, he with this gutter, two overs in a gutter. I don't know if Steve can handle this. Deuce of clubs. Can. Continue your story, buddy. If you check here, you might lose the, the hand. If you bet, you probably win. I mean, it's easy for me to say when I see the hand and everything. But you have a good story going in this hand. So the, the only problem is, is that you can't... Let's see, it's... The size, it's, I mean, I understand what he's doing. He's betting like four or five hundred here. Five twenty-five. It's about half of his stack is what he's betting. So he leaves half of his stack behind if he gets called. But he had better odds of winning when it came to... It's hard. It's hard to put it all in on a bluff. And that's what he feels like he's doing. He's bluffing. Even though he's not, he actually has the better hand, a dominating hand at that. Um, he just doesn't know that. And there's really no way to know that. Like, I understand why he's betting a 525 here. Penn makes the call looking for that eight. That's the only, th the only card he's going to feel comfortable with. Five on the turn. It'll, he did check. Oh, no, excuse me. He did not check. He bet all in. I think if you're prepared to do that on the on the turn, or, yeah, it, if you're going to do that on the river, you should have done it on the turn. Uh, that's just my opinion. I know it's an extremely difficult bet to do. But, I mean, obviously, nine high, I can't call. Uh, there's, no, there's no call here. It's crazy when you're bluffing, you still have the best Like, after that river, He said he feels like he had the best hand. But I ain't gonna do it. But a good one. I mean, if he knew he had the best hand, then if, if he truly felt he had the best hand there, then it was a great bet on the turn. Um, because you're trying to get value. But it is... <laughs> uh, it is... 
as queen high and you feel like you have the best hand, that's uh, either that's something that I don't know or he has a good read there, a good feeling. <laughs> a hero bluff. <laughs> so it looks like Penn raised to 160. Or, I'm sorry, excuse me, straddled the 160. So we have the straddle 2040. Yeah, so we have the 2040, 80, 160 on the straddle. Andre called 160 with Queen 8 suited. So Matt just jams. He's going to get a call by Penn. I know Penn's calling this. 1.6K. It's like State Farm. There you go. Just hang on to it. No, 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 no. Just hang on to it. No, that's fucked up, man. That's really fucked up. He said he jinxed it because they threw the kill button to him. It sounded like he said something over 2,000. Two thousand two hundred and twenty. Wow, I figured Penn was making that call. I really thought Penn was making that call. Hell yeah, I went and got the purple shirt. I know it came out of a bag. I was gonna say we need to get it. It came out of a bag literally a second ago in the back of my car. <laughs> it'll be a nice shirt post iron. No, it'll it'll be in the trash. <laughs> Did you get it at Walmart or something? Uh, Don't know Andre well enough. This is his first week playing here. Uh, yeah. uh, he's, he said he's from Maryland. <laughs> So, he is visiting here, so this is a player that has filled out the form that we have in our description. So if you're wanting to play, uh, please do fill out the form on the description and, and you can be just like this, just like Andre, playing here. So this is his first time ever playing in Texas and he gets to play on a live stream. So he's very excited for that. And uh, we definitely, ooh, he calls him and immediately asks for twice. Two full boards. It's up to y'all. I'm not just asking. I like the sweat. Oh, no. Diamonds. Oh, all right. I killed one here. So they are showing their hands. Queen eight of diamonds and ace seven of diamonds. Here we go to a flop. There's a seven on the first flop. Doesn't change anything. Still needs a queen or an eight. Except now it just gives him a whole bunch of outs on the turn with a six on the turn. A, cool, a king on the river. Misses everything. All that climax. And there's an eight. So he needs a diamond or an ace. Most of the diamonds are gone. Oh my gosh, there's the diamond. Speaking of which, kills it. So that's the end of this hand for sure. Well, he had Andre covered, so Con Andre gets felted here. I think Andre might be done for the night. Thanks for coming in, Andre. Really appreciate you coming down, filling out the application to play with us. And just like that, you are on the stream. Unfortunately, you're off of the stream. 
See, yep. y'all don't believe in superstitions at all. Before it's no, over. We helped them out. We helped you out a lot, actually. Where's our ping, actually? Anyway. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and throw us some. Why don't you throw us all a little something? What? 5 each is fine. I'm definitely down the most of the table. <laughs> <laughs> so, RJ says discipline full by pin. Uh, wrong in this spot, but can't be results oriented. Now, after seeing the hand, now being results oriented, it was the right full. <laughs> nice hand, Matt. Good full pin. <laughs> Everybody just says nobody folds ace jack. Nobody's folding ace jack in that spot. I mean. Didn't you see the result? That means it was a good decision. For sure, for sure. They say the same thing. Didn't you see the result? Oh, shit. I didn't realize that. Thank you for reminding me. I think I'll play the shit out of his hand and check. Gotcha. Snap a pair of fours here so far is just a straddle to 40. Matt makes the call, pin checks, and it's been checked all the way down. Bet 75, just let it go. You should have the kill button. Now everybody pays him. That he does. That he does. So speaking of tournaments here, at TCH here in Houston, Thursday big one tonight, started at 6 p.m., 20K guarantee, 240 on the buy-in, 30K starting stacks, and at the break, you can do a single add-on for $100 for another 30000 in chips. So if you come right at the break, you can pay $340 and get a 60,000 stack if you'd like. Uh, obviously, we encourage everybody getting here earlier. Always makes us feel better. But $240 tournament for a 30K starting stack and 20K guarantee, I mean, that's a lot of money. I mean, each week has been, it's over $6,000, almost $7,000 in first place. No, it's not blind, I look. <laughs> Steve raises it up with 8 6 to 50. JB makes the call. Matt called. And I'm sure Penn's calling as well here. I'm on strike. I'm on strike. I'll do 20, though. I'll do 20 until he gets better working conditions. Uh oh, two hearts on this flop. Steve being the pre-flop, pre-flop aggressor too, so he's gonna probably bet. I don't blame him. I would do the same. You get a call from Matt. That's an easy call. Heads up to the turn. If a heart hits here on the river. Matt makes a check. I mean, uh, now you got more equity on top of it. I mean, I'm going to be betting again. Now you have a four as well. Bets 400. So he bets more than the pot. Matt makes the call. Here we go to the river. Deuce the clubs. He goes, check, check. Matt immediately says ace high and takes it down. One. And 25, baby. One time heart. Wait, again? Yeah. He's saying, why couldn't I gotten a heart? Why couldn't I gotten a heart? A heart would have been dangerous, that's for sure. Yeah, you did. You did. You did. You did. You did. The first time, the second time you... The second time you both played. Alright, don't get this to change up the... No, Shots all around for the table. Tears, everybody. So speaking of our Thursday tournament that we're that is going on right now, there's currently 60 people into the tournament. I'm looking at live, uh, live uh, stats on the tournament. We still have 50 minutes to get into this tournament. 
So you still have a lot of time to get into the tournament. A little over a half an hour before the first break starts. So if you are nearby, come on down. You get $340 will get you 60K in chips at the break. Oh my god. I thought you looked, that's why I just Steve. Steve, I think Steve straddled here to 20. He's going to raise with kings, obviously. Four hundred. I think it's a little large. I'd like to uh, take about one black chip off of that, being 300. I think that would be better. And I will, uh, right after this hand, I'll go after the, say what chips are denominations. Everybody folds. So in this game, our chips in play are the red chips are five dollars, the green chips twenty five dollars, black chips are one hundred, purple chips are five hundred, and yellow chips are one thousand. If you see white chips on the table, they're not in play. They're only dollar chips, and normally the players will use that to tip. So Preston makes a comment here. Good. Saying TCH best hold'em content on YouTube by far. Thanks, guys. You know, we really appreciate that, Preston. We try very hard, and uh, we are excited to bring it to you. So what, we'd love to see more and more people want to grow this, especially this stream specifically. Since I'm involved in this every single week. I would love to see it grow. Usually you flat with that so other people can break. You got a set line up. Usually that's a set mining type hand. <laughs> I think you just set mine with those kings. You don't actually, you know. Because yeah. you could do it other sets. That's how it works. Exactly. Pretty big mistake there. I like taking that. Matt makes 200. With King Queen, David makes a call, and now back to Penn. Seven Queen three on the flop, so each player gets a pair. Matt gets the top pair, while David gets bottom pair. Obviously, with bottom pair, you're looking for lower flops. I mean, with 4-3, you're looking for lower flops. And it's not a bad flop. You have a, a running straight and flush draw here with a pair. Perfect, perfect turn card for him. What a pivot. You got the five of spades on the turn. Now it gives him a gutter with a pair and a flush draw. Nine hundred by oh. Matt. That was the quickest call ever. Oh. Yeah, I mean, tough cover range. With an all in and a call, so we got it. I, I think they said twice. Twice, two times. Here we go, first river. Eight, no help to David, so half the pot going to Matt. And there's a spade on the on the river for that one. So, so we got chop chop on this pot. Half going to Matt for the top board. Half going to David on the bottom board with the flush. So uh, here's this comment by one on one. Who else thinks this is the best public hold'em game running tonight in the country? You know. Um, 
I do. I raise my hand. Maybe I'm biased, but I like it. Uh, yeah, any, anyone in Houston here, 101 says, uh, should go. I agree. You definitely should take uh, take some time out uh, and, and come out. A, a, a lot of times, guys, we have, we run the game with uh, about seven consistent players, and we like putting in one or two new players a week. Um, all you have to do is to put put your name in the application there. Um, now on, in the in the description and fill out the paperwork there, and we'll get in contact with you. Um, so please feel free to come out and enjoy. Uh, we had just one of those tonight, Andre. He was one of our players that did that. So. Anybody can. Are you checking them out? I'm looking at that stack. <laughs> <laughs> he ready to bully you now. <laughs> 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 Alright, let's see. Uh, Jason Hayes says, Hey, you guys are all clubs on this flop. King 6-9. Sure. Matt, in a world of hurt, having top pair with the second nut flush draw. David <laughs> flops the nuts. With the ace, seven of clubs, JB making a bet, just lighting this money on fire. Maybe he thought it was clubs. No, he's probably just taking a stab at it with the gut shot. But this is gonna be this is gonna be brutal for Matt. This is definitely just a call is what you need to do. Now that the graphics are right, here we go to the turn. Nine of clubs on the turn. Gives Matt some outs. So it does check here by Matt. David's going to bet. I think he said 600. So he calls. He goes first on the river. You got to know that. And if you just call to the river we go. Ace of hearts on the river. Good thing for Matt. It was not a club. Right, you're going to get a bet again here. He bets enough, I think, to put them all in. Which it's a difficult call, especially with the ace coming on the river. So if he had just the ace of clubs only, and he was calling you down with it, now he's good. So it's it's a it's a really tough call. Call. I don't think he'll do it. I think he is going to lay this down. He said if it wasn't the ace, he'd be getting paid. Might be true. Ceramic, right? So I did ceramic watches for a while and I kept chipping them. So this is the only one I can find. He does make the laydown. Oh, nice. I didn't wear my stuff, right? I'm glad I club didn't go there. He just said, "I'm glad a club didn't hit." Uh, that is definitely right, Matt. You're, you would have uh, you would have been in a 
rebuying right now if that would have been a club. So everyone hit the like button to help us grow the stream. I agree, Preston. Let's do it. Levi says TCH is one of the OG streams. Uh, that's, that's pretty true. Um, been doing the streams for a long time. Live at the Bike has been around for a long time as well. So, you know, uh, it's uh, keep helping us grow and grow and grow. That's what we want to hear. That's what we want to see. So, guys, next Thursday, excuse me, that's the wrong graphic. Next Thursday, we have the bigger one tournament. It's the first Thursday of every single month. Uh, that would be next Thursday. So, if you are here in Houston next Thursday at 6 p.m., 50K guarantee, $560 buy in, 40K starting stack. 20 minute levels I actually thought the runout just killed me. No, and uh, yeah. huh? at the at the break, at the first break, yeah. there is a single add on for $250 for another 40,000 in chips if you want. A total of $810, but for a 50k one day guarantee, oh my, it's going to be a massive, massive pot, and I'm sure many of these tables in this room will be full. So Brett raises with H Jack offsuit here. David makes a call. So, Brett Betts and David Folds. Pretty common. He wants to try it on. He's running. He's running. I just bought it. I just traded for it, actually. Yeah, Scott Folds. Yeah, Scott Folds. No, I wonder if he got all his So, I do believe in about an hour, David, there on the table, will be joining us here in the commentating booth tonight. I'm on the list for a couple. Really? Nice. He definitely said he wanted to come in here and do it. Uh, so, one of our players will be in here, and he, at least for 15 minutes, he gets to sit in and commentate about his own hands. So V pit by David. He's the highest one tonight. That's uh. He's playing pretty aggressively today. Fifty-two percent. Matt at forty-three. Penn at forty-three. David at forty. Or JB, excuse me, at forty-one. Brett's at 35. That's pretty high for him. Steve's pretty low. Uh, but when he is in the pot, he is raising. So I think it said 15% for Brett, uh, Steve. In fairness, he really hasn't been getting very many hands at all. Jack Jack Queen on this flop. Six of spades on the turn, no help to Brett. Now another jack. So that's the end of that hand. Brett's not going to check, I mean not going to bet at all. He's not going to call anything either. Matt does make a bet of 180. And I can't imagine Brett calling this. He does not. 
Not too, but I know you're cheering for me. That's all I'm waiting on. The other thing, Chinese high. That is a Grand Sacred GMT. My buddy just got the Grand Sacred GMT. Is it the sport one? I don't know if it's even out. No, 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 Slowly lost some of his profits here, but still up over four and a half, which I'm sure with the prop bets, he's probably he's still probably up quite a bit with his prop bets. Probably over 5k profit. At some point, it ruins the game. Got a table of purple people leaders over there. Everyone, almost everybody, wearing purple tonight. I know that Penn did have a purple shirt when he started the stream, but it looks like he changed into a sweater. It's probably cold out there. Uh, same thing with uh, Matt in seat seven. He has a purple shirt underneath that. I think there was a straddle of the 75 here. JB's making it 235. Penn makes the call. Steve gets a little frustrated and mucks it quickly. And he's a little card dead tonight. So no three on this flop. JB checks. I think I prefer a bet more by JB here uh, compared to a check. That would stop Penn from betting himself. He could call and then he could see a turn card. May pick up a four. May pick up a three. You may pick up a diamond. Uh, you don't think a three is going to help you really, but it would have. Uh, but it keeps you to keep control of that pot, and you were the pre-flop aggressor, so. I like a bet there by by JB. Didn't happen, but Penn did bet and took that pot down. I actually thought it would be less believable if I said King. So David has gotten out of his hole, and now he's up a little bit. David raises to 50. Brett, I'm sure, is calling this. He did not call with Ace 10. Matt makes the call. Pin with Ace Queen. Raises with the kill button. To 400. Nobody, nobody believes when you had the kill button. You want insurance on that? So Matt folds. Now Pin checks in the dark here. It's a, it's an interesting strategy. With you have the kill button, and you raised. Oh my! The last five came out. Of course, there's a check. Now, David has the check mark. He's 100% can't lose his hand. I don't think, I don't think Penn's calling. He did fold. Gave up the kill button. I'm going to see it anyway. Thank you. It's just a second. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, you're lucky Ace is gone, fuck. You're dead. Oh. I was trying to catch an Acer. Did you ask for a set of the There it is. Right on your downfall. He's going with the Waffle Houses then. So our new structure for our Tuesday TKO Progressive Knockout Bounty. 10K guarantee, $240 buy-in. That's a 30K starting stack with 20-minute levels. So what this is, is when our when you, uh, you start with $100 in bounty, 
And when you get when you knock somebody out, you take half the gun. The other half gets a cat. It gets gets taken. I'm sorry. You take their bounty. Half of it gets cashed immediately. The other half goes to your stack. So if you knock somebody out with a hundred, you're cashing out fifty into your pocket and putting fifty more into your stack. So now you have one hundred and fifty in your stack. Now say somebody knocks you out, they're going to cash out seventy-five and put seventy-five in their stack. If they had a hundred, now they have one hundred and seventy-five. In case there's an odd chip bounty when getting paid out, the odd chip will be added to the winner's bounty stack. So it does not get cashed out. It will get paid out. I'm sorry, it will go to your, to your stack. So if you would knock out a player that has 175, for example, you're going to cash out 75 and put 100 in your stack. Come on, Steven. Oh, yeah! Steven's my hero. Let's go! That makes sense. Thank you. All in, David. God damn it. Steven. This is a professional move by a professional poker player. How much you got left over there? That's five grand. Oh, yesterday. Has anyone ever, like, has there been, like, a fucking... That's why. <laughs> Cam thinks about it and then ends up folding. So Matt here in seat two, Matthew, um, he was the other person in the 20k pot uh, last week's live stream. So seat two and seat nine Penn was the other player involved. There was two other people involved as well who are not here tonight um, that were all in for a smaller main pot. Ace King? Ace King off suit? Ace King off suit? How do you get these hands all the time? Ace King? I had to win my shit with 9-3. I don't know what to race. You got a full house with 9-3. Oh, I know you did. I know you did. David and Brad are talking about the uh, 9 3 8 deuce hand. So it's 40. Uh, we got to straddle all the way up to 40. That's okay. I've done that in the past. I did that last night. JB makes a call. Matthew's. I would imagine Matthew's going to raise. He did. 200. And both David and JB are calling here. So we have a flop of 9 9 Queen. Hello. Action flop in between JB and Matthew. And JB's drawing the one out. He doesn't know it, but I mean, you got to check. You raise and you flop the top boat. I mean, you, you definitely have to check. JB bets 425. Music to Matthew's ears here. Uh, he, he should only call. He does call. David will be letting go momentarily. He does. So JB has the button. He has the benefit of going last. If a five would have hit there, that would have been brutal for him. So Matthew should check. He does. JB is going to bet. All in with a snap call, I'm sure. Yes. Twice is going dead. No, you're not. Don't say that. No, you're not. There's a fucking nine buried in that chair somewhere. Okay, all right. One, two, three. I didn't fold. Nobody folded a nine. It's live. It is live. They're going twice. Nine! I wouldn't be that terribly surprised. So, Queen's full. Takes it. It's cooler. It's cooler. It's about that time, right? Public enemy number one. <laughs> Matthew doubled up through JB here. Man, we don't get haircuts like that losing a poker. 
Man, nice hair, it. Matt. Takes yeah. down the pot <laughs> with almost five thousand dollars. Lucky for JB, he just won a large tournament, so he has the funds to buy back in. Uh, he already had it way before that, but uh, a little little teasing him. But he he did play that tournament very well. Won a huge tournament. So congratulations, JB, on that tournament. Congratulations, Matthew, on this pot for almost 5K in the pot. Really? You think so? Yeah, I appreciate that, man. That means a lot. He doesn't give any He gives off here. Penn's so <laughs> 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 still the big winner. Brett's up over 2,000. <laughs> Matthew's still down after doubling up. <laughs> down a, a little over 1,500. There you go, Brett. Gotta get you a man, baby. Everyone you complain about is clean. I know. Nine times you're like, you know what? Yeah, Keith takes the clean. Every time you come out, I go. It was a vice president. You got it. So for our 20K guaranteed tournament that we're holding right now, 71 entries in to the tournament, you still have 23 minutes to get here. So if you're close by, make sure you can get here as soon as you possibly can. $240 buy-in. You have a $100 add-on at the plate. Make it a $340 tournament. And uh, you'll have 60000 in chips to start with. So that's a, 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 great, a great amount of chips here for this tournament. There is now 72. So going on up. Queen high flop. David. Flopping top pair. Matt's trying to bet because he has the kill button. They're just talking about that right there to, to JB. Seven of spades on the river. No good. Matt, uh, David wins the pot, small pot, but takes the kill button. Uh, and to answer the question that they're saying, can't you zell TCH? Uh, no, no, you cannot zell TCH. Uh, we do not accept zell as a form of payment. Uh, but we have ATMs and we have electronic chip purchases that you can do. Zell is not those forms. No, they were not weak. Obviously, we prefer cash more than anything. They were good. They were tasty, but they were not. They weren't Jaeger They were Vegas balls. I like Vegas balls. Vegas balls are my Jaeger. You're right. You did order the Jaeger. No, no, let's do Vegas. No, Vegas ball. Okay, give me a Vegas ball. It's fine. I'll do a Jaeger ball. Well, it sounds like they're discussing more alcohol. So after this hand, we will talk about one more tournament that we hold here on Fridays. It is a great tournament for Fridays. Steve flopping the king high flush draw. Matt has a gut shot. 
He went to Vegas. David with nothing. And Penn with a gut shot. So Matt makes the bet of 50. Penn calls. I would imagine Steve's calling here as well, at minimum. He does make the call. Everyone's got anyone. Give me a yogurt. There you go. Out of the way. There comes the flush in. He does Steve check. All the way around checks. You got to bet now. Steve, Steve, you didn't bet. <laughs> Steve says, I got it, I got it, I got it, because nobody bets, which is true, because you're going to bet the ace I flush. Nobody bets, see, the second nuts is obviously the best hand. I just say that a lot. Fuck that guy. Matt, such an interesting, or Matthew over there in seat two. Such an interesting guy to talk to outside, outside of this table. A lot of stories to listen to. I'm going to get people to say it's either Dr. Matt or Nice Hair Matt. Either one. You need comments on your own hands. You'll have 15 minutes on your own hands. This guy's really good. Come on, so you're going to leave us and go. Look how good this is. We're not going to have no players. If I break the game, I'm not going to wait. Where's Gavin? Why is Gavin? I got the wardrobe. He lost. He didn't run this time. He lost. Get, get the power. First he never loses. Yeah, he ran into me, baby. He ran, ran into, into the pen train. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he ran into Penn Station. Ran into it. He had like the 160. Yeah. Oh. I had a $200 one. I had a $200 one. What, what Kevin and James, like Ace Niners? I had Pocket Kings. I traveled $200. He, he, he said he had, I think he said he, he had a dirty stack in the front. But I had Pocket Kings and he ran into it, bro. Two, three. Two dollars the Steve raised it to 50. Matt raises it to 300. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> you little shit. Let's go. Everybody folds. So, Yishi, still here. Thanks for hanging out this long, Yishi. Appreciate it. Uh, obviously, has a big crush on Penn. Penn and Teller, Penn Station, University of Pennsylvania, all in Penn. That's the man right there. David's sitting at almost at the same stack as Penn here, 7,000. We need to see everybody's cards. Is that a straddle or a blind way? It's a blind. So there's no reaction on it? Is that good? There we go. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, you see, complimenting on me uh, on my solo commentary. Uh, it is difficult, honestly. It really is. Uh, you got to be both the color commentator and the poker analyst. Um, it is an extremely fun and entertaining job to do. And I am very grateful to have this opportunity to be here with you guys every single week uh, with my uh, partner, 
um, and co-worker here, not partner and co-worker, just my co-worker and partner in the commentating booth, uh, Wes Tucker. He is out on the run, uh, playing at the Run Good Poker Series out in Sacramento, California. You can pick up ping along quickly. I got in there, uh, like, just hit the ball, and then I hit him like, so you're telling me that I can hit this ball as hard as I can. He's either commentating or in the action tracking booth. Uh, tonight, he is not. He's all the way out in California. Hopefully, take down poker tournaments. We got uh, pocket nines for JB. King 10 for Matt. Matt's going to hold on to this hand. The $1,200 pot. I'm sorry for missing this hand. It's a large pot. He goes check by JB, and Matt is thinking here. Looks like he just checked and he's going to win the hand. 25, 25, 25. Does have the kill button, so he's getting an extra 25 from everybody. Um, so you see, I'm I'm not sure how he's doing. I have not talked to him. Uh, I've been meaning to message him here today to ask him how he's been doing. Uh, hopefully, he's watching the stream or listening to it while sitting at the table playing the tournaments. Um, if he is, I, I would imagine he would comment, <laughs> but uh, he could be in a, in a situation that he's not able to. So, you know, I wish the best to him out there, and I probably will send him a text and see how he's doing. Four ways to this flop with nothing but garbage in everybody's hands. Matt with the kill button. Ace Ace Queen. I mean, when everybody has garbage, you're going to expect big cards here. Gonna take a small pot down. Every victory counts here with the bet. So for the tournament tonight, guys, we are now officially on break. 79 people have entered into the tournament in total. You can do, you have 12 minutes to get here uh, before the break ends. You can come in now at this moment. Buy in for 240, get your initial 30,000 starting stack. There is a $100 add on currently right now for this break. And you can get an additional 30,000. So you would have $340 to get you 60,000 in chips. Uh, currently, it says the average stack is 46,000. Don't know about the add ons yet. So that will go up, I'm sure. Over it. So it is a. A strong field now 80 in so come in here get the add-ons going if you if you're you got to be on your way already to be here to make this tournament if not next week and I'll explain that one in just a minute big tournament what do you call it Oh, 
dude. I cannot pay attention to that. That's such a different dynamic. It's just that's right. So, 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 so this is my night. I'm such a slow learner. Yeah, yeah. My commentary is going to be great. Because I'm going to shut this down. I'm going to kill, but I'm going to kill, but. I mean, if you have the best, I'm not going to do it. Your commentary is going to be great. No, he did not. He's got two shots in me now. Yeah, you're just gonna be honest as fuck. I mean, I'm not gonna what the fuck is this guy? Yep, welcome to Zale, baby. Wait, where's my hold up? Hold on, hold on. So I just got back, word back from, uh, from, from Wes, our other commentator and producer here. He said he cashed 13th in the Summit stack, Ming cashed for the horde, horse event, and won two satellites and is working on a third satellite for the main event now. So he's killing it. it sounds like he's killing it. So you see, great point. Anyone in the area should come out. I mean, I would. <laughs> if I wasn't in this booth, I'd be out there playing. I guarantee it. Uh, 340 bucks for uh, it's for sure over 6,000 the first. Uh, there's no real reason to think not. I'll take him. I'll take my chances. He'll still take his chances. Yeah. I'll take my chances. I just wish you had two pairs so I had a shot. You know? Like I was like, happy as king queen, whatever. It's like anything but fucking jack them. You the set, dude. I've got. Queen 9 8 and he had aces and I have I have the kill button and I go 400. Queen 9 8? Yeah. Oh, you're just dead. I'm dead. That sucks. I know. So, basketball, maybe we were talking about Wes Tucker, one of our other commentators out here uh, for TCH Houston and producers. He's out at the Run It Up series in Sacramento, California. Let's go. He's uh, killing it out there right now. Uh, has 13th place and one. Yeah, he min cashed in another and has won two satellites into the main event, working on a third satellite seat as we speak. They're front now, right? Wait, what's that? He's putting him in front. He's putting him in front. I had a good So, Matt, taking this one down. You know, I um, I've always been people to to highlight good and bad. So I mean, a bunch of no names, totally lame. I mean, uh, this is a lot of our local players here, uh, here in Houston, that is, and um, we value and cherish every single player that comes in through this door, and we like to spotlight our Houston players. Uh, here at TCH Houston and, and bring that pride in uh, and show them everybody, everybody. So this is a way for us to be able to do that. Um, uh, the player in seat number six is not currently there. He just won a large tournament. He won 45000 over the weekend in a tournament. Uh, so there's, there's a lot of uh, strong poker players at this table. I was talking to David earlier, who's going to be joining me in the commentating booth in about a half an hour. Uh, he said he wanted to do. He said he wanted to uh, become a professional poker player, and he plans on doing that in about a year or two. The tensions are high. Uh, West, I West just needed a heart to come. Rest, dude. 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 Why there must be open? something else going on there, because that doesn't seem no, very on brand for Nah, what up, baby? I mean, I don't know. I have no clue. Like my dad. Hey, what's that? He doesn't say something that's not the first. Knives have to go home. 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 Knives have to go that's obviously good. Our big Viking Nick there is in the way of the cameras. Four ways to this flop. Smallest pot of the night. Pre-flop. Six ace three on this flop. Two clubs. Steve flopping a pair of sixes. 
And uh, that is it. I mean, you got a gut shot from Matt. Matt made it 125 here. He does have the kill button. He does have a gut shot to the five. What you got, Steven? I got like seven. Wow. Five dollars for this one. Won the tournament. You might have no five, dude. Right, so Steve five, raises it uh, for yeah. Matt Fold. Yeah. Just a middle set. Longer. I had two unders. <laughs> middle set one. I literally, no, uh, I literally had two unders. <laughs> Maven here it says, I'm going to be a poker pro too. I mean, I hope you are. I hope you become, become one if you're not already. Uh, there's definitely different levels of being a poker professional. And you have people that just do it for a living. and That's it. Then you have, obviously, your mainstream poker professionals that, you know, been on TV several times, grind tournaments. Everybody knows them. There's a few of those here in Houston even that, that are like that. I just spoke with Sammy Farhar earlier today. He was here in the club. And, uh, but yeah, he, he was uh, here talking to me about the club and the stream and everything and likes what we're doing uh, with everything. So I appreciate those compliments. Looks like we had two new players to the table. So Levi in seat three, and I think that's a mint in seat number eight. We'll see in just a moment. It's hard for me to see him there. So Matt with Ace Jack suited. Ahmed is is there in uh, seat number eight. I was right. Matthew with Ace Queens probably going to raise. Did raise. It looks like the two hundred. He did make it two hundred. All right, heads up to a flop. Almost 500 in the pot. Looks like eight three king, only one diamond. Doesn't help anybody. Yeah, 150 by Matt. A float by uh, the other Matt. Matthew bets. A float by Matt. It's confusing. Five of clubs on the turn. No help still. I would not be surprised if he goes check, check here. Honestly, I still, to this point, thought you hit something better than what you had. Well, had me thinking about it, but I was already committed by the... Yeah, I'm obviously not trying to... Hold yeah. Okay. Yeah. Seven. So a bet and a fold. Matthew takes it down in. with the kill button with the additional 25. All right, fuck it. Growing his stack, getting back to even. Finally having a full table tonight. Not sure how Ahmed is down, but I don't believe he is. Levi is only down ten dollars, so it'll happen. So Yishi says I enjoy poker a lot. I want to become a dealer for the fun of it. Um, dealing poker can be a very lucrative profession. Once you become very good at it, and you work five days a week, 40 hours a week, in Texas, it can be a $100,000 a year job. It's a true story. Um, you do need to be good. Uh, so it takes a lot of practice and a lot of time. And if you're just starting out, I definitely suggest that you work on your correct shuffling and pitching the cards. And you can do that for about an hour or two every single day for about two weeks. 
That's all you get good at. You see, I'm not, I'm not kidding. It can be. I know firsthand. Ahmed calls with King Jack. Uh, that's true. You do need to know math, but uh, for starting dealers, you definitely need to learn shuffling and pitching. Those are the the basics. Why is it so personal to you? That's forward motion. I mean, there's obviously, there, there's 26 pages of rules. The rules you need to learn, you need to study. That comes in time. But the actual mechanics, like the shuffling and the pitching, the identifying of hands, calculating the pot, stuff like that, that comes, that comes in time. All right. You did four you motion out of turn. Oh, so, so, so if I check, we're seeing a turn. Because he already you. checked out a turn. So here we go. <laughs> I'm with you, Matt. I see a turn. We got two players for this <laughs> flop. All right, ready for the turn. JB made the call, oh, yeah, Matt. Yeah. Or, yeah. Sorry, JB yeah. made the raise. Heads up. Matt made the call. It went check, check, check on the flop. So ace jack by JB. You'll call it. You got to kill that. So Matthew is looking at a $400 bet here with just a pair of threes. Yeah, he's not going to be calling. So he loses the kill button. I just suited. I suited connector. Yishi says uh, she's scared about uh, being bad at math. I'm not already. Oh, we're done. I'm gonna die. Yeah, we're gonna lose our our patron. Um, yeah, the math. I mean, you got it. You got to be good at it. I mean, there's no doubt about it. it, it and it's it's simple multiplication, addition, subtraction. I mean, it's it's not that it's, you know, you know, calculus or anything over here that you have to do in your head. It's, but you do need to know. What did you have against me? Just tell me. So uh, you were just referring to how popular Omaha is here, uh, that it's ridiculous money it can be made. Yeah, yeah, for sure. A hundred percent. The bigger the game you have, the bigger the money it is. And Omaha is normally pretty large when it comes to the pots because of the variance in there and uh, all the different possibilities. So uh, knowing your pots is definitely going to be helpful. The faster you are at it, the more money you can make at it. So on and so on and so on. And yes, I've always said that uh, Houston is the PLO capital of the world. I really think it is. There, every single club you go to in Houston has PLO game going. Uh, in in some, some clubs, multiple PLO games. Every other place you go to, hold them as a bread and butter. Not Houston. PLO. He does have the kill. Don't let him lie to you. Don't let him lie to you. He has it. I would never lie to you. I tried, man. I had to. Oh, come on, please. Come on. Come on, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's goading. Goading Penn to make this call. No, no, no. You would do the same. We all know JB that with I would team. never try to influence action if I'm not involved. You literally got you paid an extra hundred, I think. Nine. Oh. Hey, good. Come on. Uh, <laughs> you, you have to show. We made a roll while you were going. Care? You got to show a little bit. That's a massive hand. Yeah, King eight. Five. 25 for everything. Oh, Everybody's got to pay him 25 for that kill button. 25. 25. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put it right on the floor. 
And y'all make me pay a hundred. Y'all, look, y'all boost me up to play a hundred. Yes, pay your 25. 25? 25. Yeah, 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 25. I know I, you say East Coast. Uh, you probably don't mean Florida, but I mean, you should, if, I've heard that uh, the seminal properties are pretty good out there in Florida. So as you can see, a lot of people are conversating out there. It is because the tournament is on break uh, it now uh, for the stream. You know I'm a straddler, bro. I know. I've never seen someone straddle as much as you, Penn. <laughs> <laughs> there we got <laughs> full <laughs> table. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Penn had a wardrobe <laughs> malfunction, so he had to change his clothes. You're going to get pressure, too. Penn coming back in for the raise. Shut up the A1 jury. You get promotion, baby. Alright guys, I'm going to have a sobering moment and a heart to heart with Cat after this hand. Alright, let me see that hand. Hand over here. JB says I'm going to have to have a heart to heart conversation with Cat. Cat is our dealer in the box. Have you ever lost your entire poker career? This is the first time? Yeah. When I first started? When you first started? Definitely have a uh, team pin yeah, here tonight. There's a lot of pin fans. Yeah, 145k in the tournament run. What today? Uh, Sunday? Oh, fuck you. Where is this tournament? I don't know. What'd you play? First? You beat it? What a fucking luck box. Okay. You actually uh, cracked my uh, king. Where, where was the tournament? I came to the prime. There were 13, 50 people. Was it? They're talking about the uh, the tournament that JB won, three hundred dollar buy-in tournament, hundred K guarantee tournament that went over that. Matt does not hit his gutter here. He has been betting, so I, I can imagine that Penn calls. So it's a bet, huge bet, with Penn calling here with just the ace. Another large pot, almost four thousand dollars over to Penn. Penn back up over nine thousand in his stack, six k up on the dice. So far, not counting prop bets. Steve is up. Brett is up. David is up a tiny bit. I've heard West. I've heard West. I've heard him rooting for the card that creates the action. Yeah. Like knowing one player is just a really just ate his life. Is that a shuttle? But is I love it. Thank you. Thank you, Wes. You're you're my man. <laughs> JB talking to talking to Wes. So Levi with the six five suited raising the one twenty five. You know Penn's calling. He's got the kill button, so he's gonna be making this hand. He's gonna be calling for sure. Uh, surprisingly, he actually has Levi absolutely dominated here. Ace's king. Now I think I should get something from him. Yeah, Penn's going to take the lead here. That's 120. Really? Wow. Levi called. That's pretty sick getting your I was in the yeah, no, you just huge. Gonna slow Penn down, I would imagine. 
Were you there? Were you 10 on the turn. You were on my tree, I'm saying, it that's did slow him down. You Levi you has the green hey, light to bet here. here. That was, he was thinking about it and just, he just pen just immediately let it. Levi says it was a good flop for him. So our Friday tournaments here at TCH Houston, 5K guarantee, no limit hold'em tournament, $20 buy-in. A $20 buy-in, 5K guarantee, 20000 in the starting stack. You can do rebuys. And you can do add-ons. You have a $20 single add-on or double add-on at the, at the registration break. Uh, you get $25,000 or $50,000, depending on if you do the single or double add-on. Uh, the rebuys are $20 each, multiples of $10,000. So it, you cannot rebuy over $30,000. But anytime you're at $20,000 or less, you can rebuy at least one or two times. And if you're completely felted, you can rebuy three times and get 30,000 in your stack. So, they're gonna, they're gonna that. so Levi's raising it to 16. David's gonna raise. Uncle Sam's watching. Makes it 180 here. Man, I was surprised to see that small stack would keep nine. He barely had a big bite. Oh man, he, and, and when they were doing the, the draw, I said it's gonna be here, he's gonna be all in. So sure Levi enough, calls. Here we go. Heads up to a flop. Queen, Jack, Deuce, Levi flopping decent with the open ended. David, top pair, top kicker. That's 125. He's going to get a call from Levi for sure. Right. Ace, king, or nine. Levi will take the lead. Ace, queen. Just to get a ladder? Just to get up the ladder. Did, did, was, it, was someone already all in? Like, three, 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 I, I imagine okay, David's calling. I don't think he's gonna fold. He's just getting a count. And I feel, I, you know what? I feel real bad, but my face. He's thinking about his options of what it is. One time, no. Second time. Chop it up. Chop it up is what Levi says enthusiastically. Top pair wins the first board straight on the second. Table would do for a million dollars. 
just gonna throw that. There's a lot I would do. In that one, we're gonna do a million dollars. Is it a rebuy turn? No, no, no. That's the one I'm gonna do. We've got a big amount of money. I'm glad you're not afraid. You're not afraid, right? You can play one more fight. Three ways to this flop. Six, eight, seven on the flop. Steve. Steve with the six, ten with the gutter. Same thing with Matthew having the same gutter. You can take your two bets, combine it, and already be free at the end of the. This is the million dollar one. Yeah. Two calls. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go for uh, Thursday through Monday. Let me know you're going. Though. I'm gonna get your number before we leave. Yeah. I'm going out there. I'll get your number too. I'm gonna make this. I'll give it to the live stream if they want it. There's some group of guys. Uh, 1-800 call up. Brian, they booked an Airbnb over there. Oh, yeah. I can do the million dollars. Yeah, I'm sure we all can. Three players to the river. That's my The queen for Matthew is going to be best. Did you like the prime stock and dealers in the end? They were all nice, huh? I don't, I don't know if Matthew is going to bet here. Yeah, he, he did not. I'm not. I wasn't expecting that to happen. So just the queen on the on, on the turn is going to be the best hand. And he, and he changed his pick because originally he went with Romain. He goes, you know what? I just got a feeling about Jonathan. I think Jonathan's going to make a comeback. He's a short stack right now, but I think he's going to come back and win this thing. Yeah. And sure enough. You know, I really appreciate everybody being here with us tonight. Having a total of 28 likes right now. Would love to see more. If so if you guys are able to and you appreciate the content you're watching, definitely seem to like uh, it's super helpful to us and uh, I know we we uh, definitely rate the, like we see how many we get through the uh, through our live stream so it is something that it's it's also a friendly competition in between Wes and I when he commentates and I commentate so <laughs> we like to see how many we can get um, so JB raises it up to 40 with eight Ahmed calls, Hen calls, and Matthew all call. I believe Matthew has the kill button. Matt, Matthew flopping the bottom end of the straight here with 5-3. Very, very unlikely to, to like see that hand. JB is going to raise it. I mean, it's a phenomenal flop for pocket eight if you don't flop a set. I mean, being an overcard, overpair. Raises it to 275. If you're the top, they're restricted. They're restricted. Say you're top, like your top 20. No one actually really plays with it's, this. Like, they're, they're so cards. old, and the way and the way their card game works is uh, even even uh, all the the tournaments for the older stuff don't allow you to play with the old stuff. They do. It's almost like a meta, and there's nerfs or whatever. Yeah. Okay, well, my question is like, in that format, yes, you can pay. If you're a top 20 in the world, how much do you have to spend on a deck to be competitive? And like. I mean, even if the top 20 is the same, you would have to spend it if you were going to your car shop. It's thousands. Yeah, you have to. Yeah, and you can't. If you want to get your bed, yeah. Yeah, okay. Sure. What is that? Like, what? Like, the Magic skill gap. gap. So, like, what's that? Is that a card game? If someone is an average player and someone is the best player, and one guy spent the best deck, the other guy spent half a good deck, it makes a difference. No, but does the, does the best player have an edge ever? Where is that guy? With the best deck, just an average. Yeah. So who wins? That's my question. The best, deck, the best player with the worst deck? Yes. Who would win? Because, because there's a lot. Well, yeah. because it's, it's actually a lot Here we go to the turn. Another seven does give out. Any seven, five, or eight. Uh, JB will have a better hand here. Now, he did pick up a club draw for Matthew. An eight of clubs. Doesn't matter. It gives him a boat. Matthew has a five of clubs, so... Those cards can't come out. Eight of clubs would be a horrible card for Matthew, though. Uh, 
Because he would hit his flush on top of that, but be running, be ran into the top boat. It sounded like Matthew Bet and JB just jammed. That's what it looked like. Oh, I misheard. 850 is the bet. JB is definitely thinking about it. With 2,000 in his stack. I mean, I don't, I don't think I'm folding here if I'm JB and I'm in his spot. He does make the call, obviously looking for an eight or a five. Queen, no help to JB. Only a thousand left in JB's stack. It's either put your opponent all in or check. With him not raising here, yeah, I, I like that by Matthew. With him not raising there, making the $1,100 or all-in bet is the best play. JB deliberating over his options here, trying to figure out if his eights could be good. Looks like he's going to fold. It's, it's hard to make this call when you have your opponent, even though you bet and he just don't bet into you on the flop. It, it is, and then Ray, after you raised, he re-raised, and then he led the turn. It's, it's Calling with eights is very, very difficult. This is a huge, I mean, like this story. Matthew's saying he has 5-3, he has 5-8, he has pocket fours, pocket sixes, pocket eights. I mean, these hands are all hands, or, or even nines. Nines can be there. Tens can be there. Unlikely, a little less unlikely, but the... I, I, don't, I don't think JB is going to call here. I think he's going to end up laying this down as he should. He does have a little more than 1,100, though. Looks like he has about 14 in front of him. Just trying to remember how much the pot was. See, this in, in no limit, the players cannot ask how much is in the pot to the dealer. They need to be able to calculate that themselves. In a pot limit game, players can. I appreciate it. Levi, what's your name? My name's Levi, what's your name? What's your name? Ken. Ken? Like the fish and Oh, yeah, yeah. Levi. Levi. Like the jeans? Exactly. I like that name. What you do for a living? Uh, is, G is JB going to end up making this lay down? Or is he going to make the call? Uh, I did car insurance at one point, but now I do like. Uh, I Type in like on, uh, one if you think he's going to call. Type in two if you think he's going to fold. Let me know what you think. I, I, I feel he's folding. That's what I feel. I, I, I mean, I would be pressing two here. He's looking a smart man. Look. I'm looking like, yeah. You sure? Yeah, I yeah. Where's Chandler? Chandler? Mathematically, you need to be about 25%. Yeah. Are you going to be right 25% of the time? You killed Chandler last night. He was key. I mean, he kept getting hands. He, like, he, he got set. set. Over set. He yeah. got. He, he value owned himself versus me, which was kind of a good raise. Talk about Chandler. He had like 10 games. Yeah, one, one for. Last, last time we played. Yeah. One for call, two for fold. RTG says fold. I, I'm saying the same. It looks like he did. He ends up making the fold. He does get the. He has the kill button too. So this is part of the reason why it took so long. Yeah, you gotta show both. You only show one. You told me earlier you only show one. You tell me. Two hundred twenty-five. 
So, funny here, saying that it's taking forever for just eight. The streams are getting ridiculous. So, a part of it is that he had the kill button. That Matt had the kill button. If he didn't have the kill button, it'd probably be easier. You're more inclined to bluff when you have the kill button. It's just what it is, because you're going for an extra $200, and you're going to lose $25 out of your own stack because you have to pay the other player. So that's part of the reason why he's like, what bluffs can he beat? Not many. He can beat flood. I mean, he really can't beat many. And that's why he ended up laying it down. He does get to see it in the stream. Matt taking down a large pot, though. Good. All right, everybody. I want to welcome David. David is one of the players that you can see at the table currently. Yeah. We're still on that 15-minute delay. Welcome, David, to the booth, to the closet where we're at. Enjoy and introduce yourself, please. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm David. I'm, I guess I'm one of the stream regulars. Uh, I just wanted to give myself a try at uh, commentating. It seems like it'd be fun. Uh, it's just something, something I thought I'd, I'd be reasonable with. Or unreasonable <laughs> uh, Don't worry, David. I'm sure you're going to do great, just like you do on the poker table. We can see you over there. Your stats. You're barely up. Is that is that accurate? Were you a little up? I'm up a little bit. Up. It's accurate. All right. Good. Good. Always a nice day to win a little bit. You know. That is true. I did tell all the fans here earlier tonight that you, we had our little discussion earlier and uh, about how you were wanting to return to a pro it's about a year or two. Yeah, it, it's just something I'm thinking about transitioning to. It's not set in stone yet. It's just the way Texas poker is heading. I mean, it's it's just a, a big boom. It's been a big boom in the past three years. Like, it's been absolutely insane. You are correct, sir. You are correct. And TCH is going to be here the whole time. So we are... Definitely glad to have you here with us at TCH and on the streams. Always fun to watch. So thank you very much. And I'm glad you're joining me here in the, tonight in the commentating booth for our last hour. So please take it away. It's, it's just always interesting because the seeing what people's uh, cards are uh, after after it happens always always creates for interesting because you know what happened in certain in certain spots, but like. There's the game. The gameplay is a lot more passive than uh, a, a lot a lot of other big games. It's it creates for it has its own dynamic. That's true. And it's it's something you got to get used to. Even even three betting, four betting, you still go four or five ways to a flop because they just want to play. Right. Right. So on this hand here, we got uh, Levi new to the table, raising it with pocket eights. You called, Penn called, Steve called, and Matthew all called. Five ways to a flop with 150 bucks. Yep. And the 750 in the pot already. We're going to be taking it to the flop here. In a moment. <laughs> I think she's counting the pot down, making sure it's correct real quick. So. Oh, yeah, I remember this. Yeah, she was just counting it up. Making sure everybody had the right amount of chips in. It does happen from time to time. Players throw in the wrong amount. Uh, it's no big deal. You put 25 too much. Good deal. Rebate. There's a rebate. <laughs> six, six, seven on the flop. It's a pretty good flop for uh, for uh, for H. Levi, who, who opened up the action. I mean, we got a we only got a couple people with a piece, but I mean, still make for an interesting flop here. See what right. Levi chooses to do. Too bad the eight of spades is already gone. That would have been definitely an interesting card on the turn. <laughs> Steve has the flush draw and gutter. Two overs with the gutter and the flush draw. Mm -hmm. Always a, a hand you want to get involved with. 
Levi does make a bet, 325. Penn, always willing to give action, is, I would imagine, going to lay this one down. King, yeah, King High, six ways, ain't, ain't looking so hot. Correct. I can imagine. I think Steve's going to, especially with the kill button. It's, it's interesting because with the kill button, he had he made his call pretty quick, but all of us, uh, or the other options were on the table. I mean, folding's probably out of the question, but... Right. Oh, someone folded pocket fours and they would have <laughs> just... True, that was Matthew, I believe, that yeah. folded pocket fours. Immediately regretting that one. Let's see what sizing Levi chooses with. He's still going to be best here. He's going to be up against a lot of drawing hands, a lot of sevens. So he still can get... Oh, he bet a thousand? Yes, it's Levi a did hefty, bet a thousand. It's a pretty hefty bet, 80% pot. Right. Yeah, it's... Steve reluctantly folds, I'm sure, wants to see a river. He he was he was saying he, he was worried about being dominated by a bigger flush draw, but I mean that's something you've always got to be worried about when he when he folded. Right, right. So Aki, right here, one of the players that has played several times on our stream, he's saying eights are eights are always great. They have the last two hands. They've been good. Um, I mean, kind of actually with the uh, hand with uh, JB, they were bad. Uh, we were just, right before you came in, uh, it was the hand with Matt and JB where Matt had 5-3 flopped the bottom straight. Yeah, I saw that. And then uh, I JB I, had eights with the overpair. That was a, I mean, that was a rough spot for, for eights. Definitely putting him in the blender, but I, I, I think JB ended up making a great fold. Uh, yeah, he did. I was saying that a lot of people um, with Matt having the kill button, you're more inclined to bluff. And you have more bluffs in your range. Uh, yeah. I didn't watch exactly, but yeah, that, that's a, a pretty true statement. Like the kill button just adds so much, so much more incentive. I mean, you know, when when the table's full, collecting an extra two hundred dollars, uh, for sure, adds up as, as as what happened to Pin early on in the stream when he just nailed it. Six hands in a row, I believe. I mean, that's, that's an extra thousand dollars with those six hands in a row. Yep. Someone with that type of hair. Oh, yes, my, la my last involved hand. This was interesting because uh, Levi with the, the kill just called in the big line with the, the ace four suited instead of uh, three betting Steve's open on the button. And he, with the kill, you, you just want the extra fold equity. I mean, St Steve's going to be opening light here. And I, I, I obviously put in the hold four bet. And then. And it gets through, but uh, Levi was saying if he he, was, he should have three bet, which which I agree with. But uh, I was because of the kill button, the type of player that Levi, I perceive Le Levi to be, I, I was gonna put in a cold five bet. So I think this is the first time I've seen Levi. I don't think he's been on the stream here before. I've never seen him before. He, so far, great, great guy. He, he was super fun. In the, my uh, the limited interaction I had with him at the table. Awesome. Great addition to the, the stream. It's always it's always great when people are willing to get in the mix right away, join the yep. shots. He was he was in comments. He was on he was in comments on the way here. Oh. So he was watching or listening to the stream on the way here and commenting uh, things. So glad to see him here into the in, in playing. How do you think your VPIP was tonight? I don't know. It probably wasn't great. Uh, I, I had I had a lot of high, low, low. I I put it in the lower. I, I'd be shocked if it was above twenty five percent. You're way off. What? You're way off. <laughs> your VPIP tonight was over fifty. I had a lot. I had a lot of medium hands uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, that I could have chosen a three bet, but I just wanted to take the. I just wanted to see flops quick because uh, a lot of this game is is. is for me personally, it's playing post flop, not not necessarily trying to leverage uh, stack and uh, position pre flop. Okay, it's just the way I'm I, I'm approaching sure this game some of the time. Sure, eight again, eight popular open. hand right now. Uh, any pair I look at, I'm I'm always excited. <laughs> so. Ahmed raising generally a tight player, so when he raises, you know you're gonna have to pay attention. Yeah, he's got something. Matthew, we like to call Matthew over here, either Doctor Matt or, or Nice Hair Matt. Yeah, nice, nice Hair Matt. Yeah, he came in looking super fresh. <laughs> so uh, he three bet the uh, Ahmed's open on the button. He did. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's a great flop for Ahmed. That is bottom set is. And normally with an ace and you have bottom set on the board, it's a, it's an amazing flop. 
Unfortunately for him, Massey doesn't have, but I will see a C bet. Yes. Yeah. See what Ahmed chooses to do here. Uh, it's pretty connected. I don't mind a raise. I don't mind a call. I think both. I think both are good. There are merits to doing both. But right. if, if he knows Matthew's going to be C betting all these offsuit combos, he should probably be leaning towards call most of the time because you just don't want to blow him off uh, certain hands, especially if he's willing to bluff part turns. Uh, here comes a raise. Oh. raise it four. 400, yeah, it looks like. Yeah, yeah. And that's going to be the end of that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he does have back doors, but I don't think with, with Ahmed's stack, you're not just calling 400. You're calling no. 670 if yeah. you're more. I mean, if, if you do that. There's just saving, saving face here, trying to make sure you can't yeah. make a move. Right, right. Uh, he does not have the kill button, so it's in the middle. Uh oh. Never mind. Staying corrected. I didn't. I don't expect that. That's. That's. I guess he's gonna bluff hard turns, but that's. You, you can't bluff six hundred and seventy dollars. <laughs> it's gonna be hard to bluff him off of any made hand. Like. Yeah. I'm just gonna have to cycle. Uh, that's definitely Game not gonna over. do it. <laughs> Game over. I would actually like to see Ahmed check here. You can, I don't think you can. After uh, raising the flop, I don't think you can check. I think you, I think you can. You you want him to make uh you want him to continue with uh, obviously all of his 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 big aces, but uh, his drawing hands you kind of you want them to connect. Uh, oh, for sure. And you're I agree. gonna and if, Ahmed's the type of player where he's capable of check check raising with top pair uh, here, and he would. And uh, since Matt's not gonna have a lot of nines in his range uh, doing this other than right. uh, pocket nines, I think it would be a good balance here. Uh, because you're trying to make the most, and so it's just, it's kind of a nitpicky thing. It's just going to mm -hmm. be hard. Personally, uh, I, I don't mind betting because there's obviously nothing wrong with betting here. Yeah, he uh, does check. You, you you are right there. You're, he, Matt's checking back. There's no doubt about it. Yeah, this is a crystal clear give up. Maybe bluff hearts on the river, but there, there's no like you're hoping he has ace jack or ace ten. That's not what I expected. <laughs> Yeah, I get proven wrong all the time in here. <laughs> I proved myself wrong on the on the felt twos. Um, today wasn't my best show. Two fifty. Now, now, I mean, with only six hundred dollars and change left, I don't think you can't do anything but raise all in. No, he calls. I like. I think. I think call. Uh, call, uh, call since you have the board so locked up. I think call is fine because you're still gonna just. You're never gonna just pile it in with ace king or ace queen here uh, for, for the rest of it. Uh, Ten of hearts. I mean, that's obviously what you want from Ahmed. Um, yeah. Is having that heart. Last card you'd want to see is an ace or a nine, obviously. Yeah. It's an interesting spot because I, I, I just don't think you. Yeah, I, I like I like him putting the rest in. It's just gonna get checked through so often, and when they show ace king or ace queen, you just. Incredibly sad. You just, you're just hoping he has a flush. For sure you hope he has a flush. I mean, because he's going to call if he does. I mean, Aki said it's either a shove or a check. Um, that's for sure. You're never folding. Uh, Matthew is an aggressive player and doesn't believe you. He has uh, and, and has you covered. The, 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 heart, the heart completing, is, it's a good card for him to bluff. But it's also probably just just because the stack to pot ratio is just so small, incredibly mm -hmm. small, that uh, uh, Ahmed uh, might lean towards calls with hearts in his hand, like if he has uh, Ace X with the Ace of Hearts in his hand. Mm -hmm. So it's it's a weird spot. I'm I'm not sure how Matt ended up at the river. I, I personally wouldn't have. If if Ahmed had you know another thousand dollars behind that, he could have tried to make a move or something. I, I just think the stack the stack depth really would have dictated how I play. I would have played that hand. So I think we got another purple people leader that joined, took over your spot. Was that is that Jamie? Jamie? That's Jamie joining. Jamie, Jam and Jamie, making a comeback. I think he, uh, I think he's told me over the weekend that he had uh, he was going to be late to this week because he had work. But uh, glad to see him here. Always a great player to play with. Super, oh, yeah, for sure. Super fun. He definitely has more than $100. So. 
<laughs> it doesn't say he has a hundred. He got a couple. Oh, oh no, Matt's opened it up with the sixes. Uh, the uh, well, the min buys a thousand, so oh, okay. probably just missed uh, a zero or something on there. Yeah, it says he has uh, twenty one hundred in his stack. He's just behind money is all. Jamie's defending the small blind with the eight seven off, and Brett's defending the big blind. So Jack ten six on this flop oh, with two diamonds. Bottom set a gutter and a middle pair. Just two people having diamonds. This could. Can we can we hope for a nine of diamonds? <laughs> we can <laughs> or, always hope. Or a ten. We can always hope for the most action card. In ah, it's. Jamie makes a quick fold with his gutter. Yeah. Oh, oh. that's an interesting card. True that. Gets... That is true. Open ended with the pair. Does he, does Brett? feel comfortable to lead now? I think he, he, it's just something Brett's trying to get a cheaper, a cheaper river. Yeah, a blocking bet yeah. is it for sure. I mean, it's a one-third blocking bet, though. <laughs> raise, uh, raise the I like match choice to raise. Yeah. It's, it's always interesting with these these pairs and, and three liners where when you. When you would make your hand, it would be an obvious, an obvious complete. How people choose to continue. Four of diamonds hits. And I wonder. If, no, Brett's not one to turn his hand into a bluff. When he has showdown value, he normally tries to. I mean, this would have been a perfect candidate to. Yeah, I agree. I agree with you. Yeah, I, 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 hundred percent agree with you. What is that bet? That's, that's oh, it's 510. That's, big. I, that's a big bet. It's half pot. Uh, you're targeting one. You're targeting two pair, uh, which Brett's not going to have a ton of here. Uh, Jack ten would probably raise the flop. Uh, so you're targeting King ten, King, uh, King Jack. I, I just think he's going to have a lot of one pair hands. Right. I agree with you. I, I, I do agree with you. Tonight's tournament, the 20K Guarantee Tournament, had 54 add-ons, 87 total players into the tournament. The prize pool of $22,800 in the prize pool. First place is 6,900 to first place for tonight on a $240 buy-in tournament. That's uh, that's pretty strong. It is pretty strong. Ten places being paid out. So if you couldn't make it here this week, come out next week. We have a 50k guarantee, and we will show that as a 50k guarantee, $560 buy-in. 40k starting stack, and at the break you have an optional $250 add-on for another 40,000. So that's going to be the first. The first Thursday of every month is that tournament. And uh, if you don't feel like playing the tournament and you want to put more money on the line, you can always uh, fill out in the description. There's a form that you can fill out to play on this live stream. Uh, tonight we had a player that did that, Andre. I filled out the uh, paperwork and here he was, all the way from Maryland. He was a, he was a great, great company. We had a great small conversation. Too. Yeah. Great guy. He plays. Plays a lot of poker. He was a big, uh, big into five card PLO because they play a lot okay. of it there, and, and he likes the four card too. But I, I wanted to give us give a shot at the, the live stream hold him. But uh, I think I think when I when I spoke with him, he said he was heading out uh, tomorrow. But it's, it's always nice to to see new people in the mix. So if any of y'all ever want to come down, please feel free. We'll, we'll always be glad to have you. Yeah, you either can take your money or they can give you some. One or the other is going to happen. <laughs> If it's on the table, it's if, well for, for me personally. If my money's on the table, you it, it, you can have at it. <laughs> Good luck is I think is what he's saying. But Bo both ways, never gonna lock it up. That's what that's really what I'm saying. <laughs> we got a so six small, on the river, taking it for pen. Uh, Callus is asking where we are in located in Houston, Texas. Uh, so this says, yeah, where are you guys? As he was saying, Houston, Texas. More specifically, 6100 Westheimer, Suite 142, right here, TCH Houston. Really close to the Galleria, if you know where that is in Houston. Um, if you don't, 
Google 6100 Westheimer Suite 142. It'll take you right there, and uh, we'll be waiting for you. It's easy to join. It's it's nothing but a little bit of paperwork and, uh, to become a member. Uh, it's not that it's not much. You have a ten dollar membership daily fee, or a thirty dollar monthly, or a three hundred dollar yearly fee. Uh, it's it, it, it's it's not expensive. You pay hourly here in Texas. Um, way cheaper than the casinos that rate uh, when you're talking about just twelve dollars an hour. So um, come on down, join us, have fun. Uh, we definitely welcome everybody in. Got a small pin. Most definitely going to defend the ten five series. Did that? Yeah. The kill button. He's in the hand. It's for sure. It's it's that's pin. If he has the kill button, it almost doesn't matter what your pre flop raises. Pin. Pin flops the best best of it with the worst of it. <laughs> True. Yeah. Jack Jack, it's a pretty good, still pretty good flop for Jamie. He could have done both. Red. Pin's gonna bet his five. Probably the best hand here when it goes check there. True, that was probably not gonna help very many people on the turn. And it does go full fold. Everybody can pay an additional twenty five dollars now to pin. The price is not saying anything yet. He's he's pretty good about it too normally. Hey, hey, I'm supposed to get the main pack, and I'm supposed to get a third of it. I think you asked. Oh, he's, he's talking about the the big pot last week. He's not even realizing that he had the kill button in front of him. That was a big one. Yeah, the uh, it was it was TCH Houston history. Uh, 20K pot, 20,100 in that pot. Oh, now he's talking about there. So, uh... He says he's from upstate New York, you know, um, jump on a flight right here to Houston, Texas. You got two airports you can fly into, so uh, we're not far away. Like I said, Texas poker's booming. I haven't played in New York in... I don't think I've actually ever played in New York. I've, I've gambled in New York, but I've never played poker there, but... From what I understand, Texas is, uh, is, the, is the place to be right now. Uh, and more specifically, Houston is the PLO capital of the world. Oh, yeah. If you like PLO, you come to Houston. Uh, we have games ranging from 1-3 all the way up to 100-200 PLO. And all over Houston around. Um, massive PLO city. Uh, as I was saying before uh, tonight. Got a... A little pr Texas premiums going heads up. <laughs> Pin with the kill button, as, as usual here, with Jack High. Leading out into... Oh, JB's... I don't, I don't mind this. Showing the, showing the three. He said he had King Fury. 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 Not lying, guys. So we got Penn. Penn is still the big earner of the stream went after that massive feeder went on under three innings. That's true. Then J JB has been getting the brunt of it. It's been yep. some very unfortunate situations. Yep, that he has. And then V Pip, you can see tonight's V Pip. Penn at 52. Jamie's only played four hands, but he's played two of them. Uh, Matt, 41%. JB is at 36. This is a much calmer table than usual. That's true, and yet the V pips are still uh, yeah, pretty good. Yeah. yeah, Steve, uh, I think this is Steve's first time on the stream. I know he played after uh, after last week. Yeah, he, he played when the stream shut off last time. Yeah, I think this is his first time that he really wanted to be here. So I know I talked to him at the uh, spring location uh, earlier in the week. So, this is the Robbie, which he folds, the crap hand, so I'm not surprised. I always use the stream as an excuse to sometimes mix it. If I'm feeling it, I'll, I'll, I'll mix it up. I guess, I guess today I was feeling it, so I was, I was probably in there a lot more than... Yeah, you were, you were raising a, quite a bit uh, tonight, which is good. I mean, normally you're sitting in the 25 to 30 range, and tonight you were way up there, so... 
It was a good change, uh, good change of pace to see. Aki's boo PLO. Steve raising it to 300 here. The Ace King, pin, pin making. Oh, he doesn't have the kill button, so this is. This this will be a full. Yeah, this hand's probably. Yeah. I'll, I'll give it to Pin. He's he definitely wants to he definitely wants to gamble. Oh yeah. True. It is true. We have 37, 37 likes currently. You know, thank you so much, guys, for hitting that like button for us. Uh, share it and subscribe. You know, if you haven't already, uh, please do. We have something around 52,000 subscribers here to TCH Live. So we really, really appreciate everybody being here, everybody watching. Uh, it's it's a lot of fun. I'm really grateful here for David coming in tonight. I know he expressed that he wanted to come in here, and we gave him the opportunity tonight. So thank you for being here with me, David. Yeah, th thank you for this opportunity. I'm, it, it, it's just something I've always been interested in, commentating. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not bullshit. I'm not. This is not a bullshit. But the story I'm about to tell you, not bullshit. There was a carjacking right in front of me. We got a little bit of a couple hands starting to brew up. Levi opening the sevens. Always, like I said, it's always good to look down at a pair. It's just hard to make a pair. Jamie looking at the beautiful Jackson suited. Oh, Ahmed calls this Ahmed time with calls Jackson? It, it was suited this time. Last time it wasn't. <laughs> Steve, Steve wakes up in the big line with a monster. Yeah, it raises it to 350. He's, he definitely started. He definitely started sizing up once you realize normal sizing doesn't always. Yeah, not in this game. Doesn't always work. Not in this game. It, it, normal sizing is out, out the window in this game. I can tell you right now, if Levi calls, Jamie calls. Without a doubt. Yeah. Now, now Jamie has an option. Like he's... I, it's you. You came to play. Jamie's not holding this. I, I don't. I can't. I don't imagine of it. Yeah. He, um, Ahmed falls. As, uh, folds as well. At least we have two. Re but now we got two real hands going. It's a. Uh -oh. It's a. It's a great flop for the Jack High. True that. It does go to check. Check. It looked like. Yeah. It's interesting to see Jamie check that back. Because even even if you bet and get check raised, it's not a it's not the worst case scenario to, to end up going all in with because and you have the additional fold equity against the A side. But I right. mean he get he gets there without So it looks like bet, bet call. Bet call. Yeah. Probably made him the most by doing that, yeah. by checking it down. Go ahead, check, check, definitely, definitely made him the most. And then betting 200, I mean, that was a $1,200 pot just like that. So Griff says he's not familiar with the kill button. Anyone care to give a quick explanation? David, please take it away. All right, so the kill button is a, a mini game we, uh, we've been playing on the table. Basically, whenever you win a hand, you get the kill button. And, uh, each time you win a hand while holding the kill button, you, uh, everyone at the table pays you $25. Uh, $25. So it's a little extra incentive to get continue to get involved after you've won a hand. It's 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 fairly simple. It does help. It does help create uh, uh, create action because it, it gets people uh, who wouldn't play uh, certain hands normally in there in the mix playing those hands, and it creates a, a different dynamic once those people start getting involved and things. It's it's always fun. The mini games are always fun. And I, I like the kill. I particularly like the kill one a lot. I do. I think it's one of the better ones. I, the small button one is too. I know when, uh, a few weeks ago when you guys had both games going at the same time, it was I think super crazy. Yeah, I think both is a little too much. I, I like picking one one side game and, and then going with it because then then it, when two side games are going, it, com it becomes hard to keep track of. It mm -hmm. Looks like we got a hamburger. That's for sure. You got a $75 raise, five or with four callers, five ways to the flop. Nobody hits nope. anything. Well, we have Penn with second pair, top oh, kicker. True. Excuse me, Penn does have so he, a jack. He out, he out flops everybody. Checks through. Eight might feel comfortable here. Steve, Steve's gonna bet for protection slash denial. It looks like if he had, if he had the best hand, he might check. He, 
All the night. Check. Yeah. Matthew Matt. bets two twenty five. For the same reason that it's the Steve. exact same thing, yeah. Ken's not gonna go anywhere no. after checking the flop back. He's getting cooler by trips versus a full house. Another nine. So both that's hit a, a boat on the river. That's a bad card for Matt. Absolutely. Yeah. And then Penn I don't know I don't know what he's gonna do. Oh, oh, check, check, check. check. That's, that's pretty standard. Uh, Pin doesn't really need to to bet because he's not going to get called by a lot of worse hands. And then same thing, same thing with Matt, and he's got tremendous showdown value. Uh, Griff, you asked about how to check your points. Just type I points. That's all you need to do. It'll show you your points. Um, you know, good to see Penn on the winner's list last week. If you haven't watched that stream, RR. So, right here, if, if you haven't watched that stream, go back and watch it. And specifically, go watch that two hours and 57 minutes into the stream, and you'll see why he's a winner for last week's stream. He's easily the biggest hand that they've had on stream, and it's going to be hard to top that. I mean, even even though this game plays a little bit bigger than advertised, because it's advertised as a 5 by 10 we right. normally have the 20 and the 40 on. Yes. But, I mean, that, it's still hard to, even even with that, it's still hard to get to a $21,000 pot. Yeah. So, I mean, congrats to Penn on that, on that hand. That was, that was, a, that was a, a doozy of a hand, too, and everyone had monsters in that. Sorry, uh, Griff, uh, uh, when I meant eye points, uh, exclamation mark points. My bad. So we got um, Brett limping. He'd... Brett likes to see flops and then uh, at first cheap as possible unless he's got a, a premium. JB's going to raise over the range. And... No, JB raised to 40. So Matt yeah, raising it to 200. Yep. Ahmed folds his, pair, his pocket fives. You think you'd fold fives right there in this game? I would. Uh, I, I mean, um, Ahmed just needs to be deeper. If, and Matt needs to be deeper. The, big, the bigger problem isn't isn't what Matt's doing. It's what JB would do back. I mean, if you were closing the action, you could you could reasonably see a flop. But you're not closing the action. You're just gonna light two hundred dollars on fire so often. Jamie's looking like he's thinking about getting involved with the King Ten Suited. Oh. oh, it's just just a call. Mm -hmm. Still getting involved. Brett's now got a decision. It's the same conundrum as is is what uh, I, I'm, Ahmed had. I'm probably folding yeah. myself uh, with Ace Jack off suit. If I was suited, I might call it. The price is very good. The biggest problem is just JB re, 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 re popping. Yeah, he does make the he does make the. Let's see what JB here. does. Yep, JB didn't take too long. He just calls. So we got four, four ways to a, a nice size pot of eight hundred dollars so far. Four players, eight hundred dollars in the middle. Oh, Jack ten have six on this fly up. Two people with top pair, top kicker, and Matt with his open ended. Jamie with middle pair and a backdoor flush draw. Right. Brett's gonna lead out. So Brett makes the four hundred dollar bet here. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I bet. I mean, first off, I'd probably fold it. But if I did make the call, I don't think I donk into this into this flop. It's, it's tough when people are capable of doing all sorts of things. Uh, you, the worst thing for this is the check through. Obvi I wouldn't. I, I specifically wouldn't, hold, especially holding the ace of clubs, because now it's just so much harder for people to be dr drawing to uh, the bigger flush draws. Mm -hmm. Right, exactly. Just like, yeah, JB right folds his top pair with, with Matt still the axe. Matt's not going anywhere. Card funeral. I like that. Yeah, Matt's not going anywhere with his up and down and two overs. And a backdoor flush draw. <laughs> so, Jamie makes the call as well. So, three James. ways to the flop. Oh, that's a, that's a turn card. That is. Not, that definitely brought action. <laughs> now Jamie's got... Two pair. Top, yeah, yeah. yeah, top middle. 
Did Jamie, did Jamie fold? Wait, no, I... he didn't fold. He, he just checked. Oh. I think the action trackers just missed the hand. Off, yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, Alan. We love you over there. Matt. It's getting fixed this shortly. It's <laughs> interesting. It's going to be hard for Matt to... It's gonna be hard for Matt to get value when when uh, Brett checks to him. Um, he chooses to check check back his option. What a, if Jamie still is in the hand? What a perfect river for him. Jamie's definitely gonna have to go for some value here. See what sizing he chooses. A lot of a lot of the hands that you're trying to target here are Brett's one pair of hands and Matt's one pair of hands. There it goes. Now it's now it's getting fixed. He's 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 working on it. Uh, our, Alan, our general manager and action tracker tonight, making things happen. Jamie does get, choose a smaller sizing, which I which I like. He's he's really targeting those one pair holdings. It, Brett, Brett makes the call. Yeah, he does. It's interesting with with Matt behind. Yeah, Matt, which, yeah, Matt has an easy lay down. He's never beating two people. No, no yeah, right. He's never gonna beat two people. Oh, it's a bit good hand for oh, Jamie. Wins wins two K in the pot. Decent pop for for Jamie scooping for, it in. It's interesting in that the Brett gonna, would call with I'm with Matt acting behind him. But no, live poker's oh, always different. Maybe some people. There's always times where you sense something's off, and you can you can easily influence your decision at the time. Jamie, Jamie just, you know, sitting down, eat first 30 minutes easily, doubling up. That's right. O up over $2,000 in 30 minutes. It's, it's, uh, it's a good day's work right there. Pretty good hourly, I would say. <laughs> it's a great hourly. I I'd take that every time. <laughs> so wouldn't we all? You know who had the least likely chance of winning that hand on the flop? Who else to bet? You always know it's it's a great game when the side bets start coming in. On it. I've never I've never known Jamie to have the best of it getting it. Like, it's, it's, it's always coming in from behind. Panthers. Everybody giving crap to Jamie here. Jamie, the king of backdoors. He did have double backdoors. King of backdoors. <laughs> oh man. I don't know if that's a title I would do. I don't want publicly, yeah, publicly announced. Yeah. Unless your name's Ron Jeremy or something. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> yeah. Another round of solid hands. Brett does have a gutter. Jesus. He makes the call <laughs> with his gutter. I'll make one for you. I'll have it for you ready next time. I fold a pair. I want you In a to have a, hot for a prescription ready for me by the time he does have he he likes it. It was good. He, he let out on the board for it. That, that's his tight image. That's his tight image for sure. That is allowing that to happen. I for sure should have made a big fold to him earlier when when I turned the flush and the riverboard paired. Uh, I was pretty. I was actually surprised that you guys go check check on that turn. Uh, I should have shoved the turn. That, that I, there's several things I did I did in the stream that I didn't like. Uh, I wasn't happy with myself with how I played today overall. But uh, that hand in particular. Uh, it's hard to put somebody on nine three. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, like I, it does I thought he would have shoved the turn with all of his sets, no matter what. Uh, uh, so I, I really thought he was gonna turn over ten nine or nine three. But that's that's all in the past. We got Penn still leading the pack. Yeah, eighty two hands played and setting at fifty two percent. It's pretty good. Even Ahmed, not bringing it up, brought it up a uh, quite a bit. It was below twenty last time the. The track came up, so that's, that's a good increase. It does not beat our highest so far. What was Madonna. It? Madonna was oh, our that, highest. Yeah, that, that 80, 84%. Out. It's going to be really hard for anyone to beat that. <laughs> she was there for almost the whole stream. And especially with 
the size raises she was calling for her to have 84% oh. BPIP. I mean, I mean that kill button game was was the best for her. She had the record until this week. Oh, Pen, yeah, when Pen crushed it. Yeah, I think she had four, and uh, he he ended up getting six. Yeah, we were trying to figure out what the count was. So six six is going to be a hard number to beat. Six, especially since we were so short-handed, uh, it's still amazing that yeah, JB opening the king jack off and Pen, Pen calling position with the suited queen. Good flop for both of them. JB chooses to check his, as the aggressor chooses to check his uh, up and down. See what Pen chooses. That looks like All a big in. bet. Oh, yeah, JB doesn't have a lot of... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think he has more than 855, but he does... So here we go. 10. That's good for Pen. They are going it too. twice. So JB's not. Ace. No. no. One for pin. That is true. Second board. Oh. That's a sweat though. It's still a sweat. Yeah, that is. is a diamond gonna hit? Diamond. Oh, hey, everybody thought it was a diamond. <laughs> Job it up. Job it up. They both won thirty-five dollars. <laughs> Jammed on me with Queen Six. Jammed on me with Queen Six. Yes, welcome to Pen Poker. So we, I, I've been calling him. He's uh, Pen and Teller, Pen State. I, I like the uh, I like the all-in pen that he was being referred to as. Yep, before that was also what we have been saying. Pen has quite a bit of a fan club here tonight. A bunch of people. Uh, there's a bunch of people. Some people have a crush on him too. As as he should. Great guy. Great oh yeah, guy. yeah, yeah. That's what I was saying as well. He is. He's a, he's a great guy to be around. Great. He's a great guy to talk to. Good poker player. I mean, he's he's a fun guy. He's very interesting. So it sounds like they're trying to talk about a mandatory straddle for a round. It's not. I don't think that's going to do anything. The game is already mostly doing that anyways. We had the yeah, 20 and the 40 on. I'd say at least half the time probably. There's two winners at this table. Yeah, the the president of the fan club. Yes, this, this is this is the the one that has the crush on pen. Yeah, tonight has been a lot of fun. And remember, after this, uh, after this hand, we'll talk about the Poker Atlas Tour coming through Dallas one more time. So looks like Matthew raised to 150 with Kojak suited here. Whatever you meant to put in is good. Oh, man, man, that's a lot of people that don't, don't, don't like their hand. Man, it might be that time, man. Oh, no, let me see. That's a big one, Pen. Big one. Big one. Come on. Only 40. Big one announced. Pen's going to for surely defend this. Who had the, Who won the last pot? Uh, they chopped it. Uh, oh, that's right. They chopped it. So kill button's in the middle. Jack 10 7 on this flop. Piece. Both both people hitting a piece. Matthew getting top pair. Pen's leading out. Pen likes to likes to put out these little feeler bets. Top two pair now for Matt. Terrible turn card for for Pen overall. Hey, he picks up more outs yeah. too, even with the queen. Now. The ace queen seven are the only cards that's gonna save him. Let's see what it Two, sizing Matt. Four hundred or four twenty five? Four fifty. He did fold. <laughs> I won one. You got a ten. <laughs> I got a good hand. I got a good hand. Show one. Show one. Show one. Service. Just just one. So the big stack on the table right now is still pen, 8.6 in front of him. 
It's a lot of money for a lot of people to sit down. I've been selling people that, you know, our 5510 game, or what we call Catman's game, is a thousand men with no cap on the buy -in. Uh, most people typically buy in for two thousand dollars usually what everyone buys in for and then as the night progresses that people are willing to put a little bit more on the table yeah i think i saw you reload for what five i added three on uh, i added three on uh, after my uh, so I, I was in for two added one then added three more okay and ended up just a tiny bit. I'm in there, Ben. That's, that's, some, that's some gas money in a tournament entry. I'll, I'll always take it. I mean, it's a fun time. Uh, it's Like I said, today I wasn't the happiest with my, my play, but it's okay. Levi under the gun with the double straddle. Or triple straddle, excuse me, to 80. You got to raise with kings here. Raises it to 300. Big slicing. See if he's going to get any action. Maybe by pen. We, we thought about putting... Oh, pen's definitely going to give him action with the eights. Yeah, he asked how much he has in the stack. Music to your ears when you have kings. Yeah. Steam with four is nice, getting a good price. <laughs> yeah, you definitely have set mine here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, one of his fours are gone. Actually, I think I saw his other four are gone too. I don't think Steve has any else. He has the kill button. <laughs> you know that's a fold when somebody acts all like that. <laughs> You're giving out too much information. Yeah. You can't you can't do all that and then call. <laughs> still, e even so, it's so much more of a casual stream than I, which is one of the things I'm thankful for. It's just not a bunch of cutthroat poker. It's 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 real fun. Trips no good. Matt finally, let's go to the four deuce. So as painful as it was for him. <laughs> what a hit. As much as I like giving action, I, I agree with Matt. That four deuce can. Uh... Oh, right, right, right. The window card no when you have kings, always the ace, right? And then pen flopping bottom set. Right. Oh, what? He just piled, he just piled it in. Levi bet 300, oh, and then Penn just piled it in. That's what I said, though. Hang on. that's the second time. My card's so Eight's being that's the popular so hand of the hour. Eight's, eights have been pretty hot overall for the, <laughs> the course of the stream. It's true. Oh, that's that is true. Eight, ace is not so much. I've seen I don't it. know if I've seen it at all tonight. I cracked uh, Matt's aces early on. Uh, I don't know if it was on stream. It was right right at the beginning. Might have, it might have been before stream because I don't think I've seen it tonight. He, uh, he had aces and I flopped the straight when we got the money and he was dead. Yeah, I definitely did not see that on stream. That, that was prior stream. Then. Our first hand was literally the hand I went out there and was telling you guys. Okay. That was our very first hand. So if it happened right before that. I guess there hasn't been a lot of aces. There have been lots of lots of kings yes. and queens. Just not a lot of people. Has been king king. Matt, Matt flopped uh, top boat with pocket queens. Oh yeah, queens. queens against the nine. That was, that was brutal. JB's 9-5 suited. Jamie's pretty active, uh, even off the screen. Like when he's playing, uh, he's he's a pretty active player. He's always fun to watch play, deal to, uh, and play against. JB with sevens raising it to 150. And once again, looking at ace, anything other than the premium, but it's... See that little red button in front of him? <laughs> yeah, the kill button's definitely going to... That's why he's going to call. And, and it gives him a great price. Oh, I'm oh, very surprised I, I am this. shocked, too. I'm definitely shocked there, too. Matt makes the call. 
with 10-8 off. It's a little loose, I can say. Defending a straddle. JV still way ahead. Now with the sevens. I would have check, check. liked to see a bet from. Yeah, I JB. mean, JB has position, so I wouldn't have minded a bet there. What, what is it? Hold on. 25 bucks. You can't call it. I can't call it, but I'm going to say Queen Jack. Close. 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 <laughs> Close. <laughs> Close. Thank you. Tables 2 7. Uh, no Penn <laughs> way up, way up today. Jamie coming in and thinking a lot. JB is way down today. I'm not sure if Seat 7 Matt has won on our stream yet. I know he's a very intelligent player. The last couple of times that uh, he's been on the stream uh, that I've been there, he's ran into it. Yeah. And it's yeah. just not been fun for him. Right. I, I know. I, I know his very first stream he came in, and he was trying so hard to win, and uh, he, just, he just kept getting just set up after set up and you know, drawn out on many times tonight or in, in the night beautiful jack nine suited on the button opens it up right it was there was a straddle to 80 on, on his hand, so 200 is understanding. Uh oh, ace queen for Matthew. The two mats gonna go at it again. That's for sure. Yeah, cutting out some raising chips. She's gonna perfect, perfectly fine hand to do this with. 800. On the raise. Yeah, Matt doesn't have enough to call. Just let's it go. Yeah, there's really not much you can do with Jack Nine. It's just not, not deep enough. That, the, stra the straddles will definitely make it get out of control real fast. Yeah, for sure. So we have 5, 10, 20, or 5, 10, 20, 40, and 80. That's I think that's the last two hands of that, or three hands even. Mm -hmm. I think the, all the mandatory straddles doing is allowing someone to put on the 40 every time now. Right. I mean, you got stacks like 80. I mean, when you have, oh, when like you have less two, than yeah, 20 big yeah. lights. The JB, for example. You're, you're, you're relying on a lot of luck. It's almost tournament mode here. When you have less than 20 big lights. So it is up to 80. So you get, maybe they agreed on all the way up to 80 straddle. I don't know. But a lot of people are doing it. They just last four hands. <laughs> yeah, MG. I don't. I don't. I, I, it's, uh, I like the sarcasm. <laughs> Jamie raising it to 250 with Ace Seven of Spades. Brett's defending with the the, the five the five four off. Yep. I think they have the players wrong. Yeah. Yeah, it's not Brett. It's Jamie and Levi. Looks like. They'll get it. it. Looks like a four five is on there too. So Brett would have flopped bottom two pair. Oh yeah. Is JB in the hand? Yes, he is. Three players. <laughs> Levi makes the See, bet. Jamie calls. Oh, and Brett would have just. <laughs> he just yeah, put his he's, hand he's, over. He's, he's like, he's look telling, <laughs> Leaning over, telling JB. Um, Brett, that's you do fold quite a bit pre-flop. Uh, so. I understand. Four or five in this game. Do you want to call a raise with it? Not always. 
Sometimes I just feel like lighting, uh, lighting a couple hundred dollars on fire. It's, uh, it's, uh, let's call it a uh, situation. <laughs> I had, it's funny, I say King Queen, I had King Ten. That's a very sad story. So, while we're at our dealer change, we have our Poker Atlas Tour stopping at the Dallas and Las Colinas locations. August 15th through the 5th, 3 million in guarantees. And they're going to be live streaming the final table. The title event is a 1.5 million guarantee starting on August the 30th through the 5th. Ten flights, two a day, Wednesday through Sunday at 11 a.m. and 4 p.m. You can go to the website, the texascardhouse.com, and you'll be able to see the whole schedule that's out there for it. It's a $1,000 buy-in for the main event, 40K starting stack. Uh, 1.5 million, that's a, that's a massive, massive guarantee. And then right before that, if you can't make the main event, they have a $500 buy-in with a million dollar guarantee. Uh, starting the August the 15th through the 21st, there's 15 flights, three a day. Uh, and that's at 10 a.m., 2 p.m., and 5 p.m. at different locations. To get, to get all the details, please, again, go to Texas Card House. Poker, I mean, TexasCardHouse.com and you can get all the details there that you're looking for. So now we have Matt jumping in the box, or excuse me, Michael jumping in the box uh, tonight. I believe he will finish our stream tonight as the dealer. I wish I was more of it, a tournament player, because these are these are some great tournaments that they come through. Just not me. Yeah. Uh, this game is opposite of tournament poker. Yeah. Um, it's definitely, it's definitely factual. So Matt raising it up to 320. JB with pocket twos is definitely thinking about what he wants to do here. Folds and seven folds. Everybody folded to him. JB could have been looking to gamble. What the? Hey, dude, I know you what he got, bro. Stop doing that, then. You gave me five shorts. All right, yeah. So JB's just shrinking. I definitely think he should be adding on. I was giving him a little bit of grief earlier tonight, saying like, uh, luckily he won that tournament over the weekend. He, he can uh, he can afford this one. Uh, I was obviously just giving him a hard time about it. He's a, a very very good player uh, in what he does, and it's always great to have him here on the stream. It, it, it probably makes today feel a lot. A, a lot. Easy. <laughs> a lot of painful there. Yeah, I mean, when you lose six thousand in, in, in a night, that's that that hurts. That's for sure. So here, here's a great question for you. Since you play in this game, what do you think you should have in your poker bankroll to set down and play in this game optimally? There's, well, there's really two sides to that question. One is I, I personally uh, think that any any player should that's not shot taking should have around 20 buy-ins uh, at a minimum of whatever stakes they're uh, they're planning to play it. It's the, the amount's really just obviously a cushion because that's what a, a bankroll is for. But because this game plays so much larger, I would uh, I would suggest having a little bit larger than that. Or if you're okay with shot taking or uh, or, or just playing up a little bit, then uh, that's fine too. But uh, in general, 15 to 20 uh, buy-ins of whatever stakes you're playing, especially if you're just a recreational player. No, I like it. I like it. I know the the couple people that I do coach, I tell them on their regular games that they play. If they're playing 1-3 and it's capped at 300, you need to have at least a minimum of 10 buy-ins. Minimum. 
you know, once you once you start, you know, building up the bank, you know, it's, it's, that's what you, you can start getting into the, the money. I, I personally don't uh, don't put a lot of emphasis on the people I, uh, I, I have conversations with this about on, on bankroll, because if you have a, a job in poker, you're uh, your, your kind of side hobby. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is nice to have a bankroll, mm -hmm. but uh, you shouldn't put so much strain on ha having it to be a certain amount. Uh, if you're comfortable playing 2-5 and you only have 10, uh, 10 buy-ins, it's fine. If you only have four, uh, 5 buy-ins, it's fine. But Because you can rebuild it with uh, that money. With your, uh, but the, the, the larger you start to play, it is... Much more incentivized to, to, to be prepared because the swings are real. Uh, oh, yeah. Losing is is inevitable, so be, being ready to to take that to take that hit when it does come and keep playing because I mean this, this is what we want to do. Just keep playing and, and get whatever games we're playing. Mm -hmm. Right. And uh, I, that, that's what I truly think a, a bankroll should be for is is uh, if you're not a professional, just a, a smaller amount, just it, it's not a, a set in stone thing. If you lose it, you know you're done with poker. You can replenish it. It's a, it's a big hand here. You got oh, JB Brett, with tens and Brett with ace king suited opening to 160. JB. Oh, it looks like jamming. it looks like Ahmed. Oh, oh Ahmed was a strap. Looks like he's all in for 930. All in for 930. Ahmed folded the sevens, and then it's going to be yeah. back to Brett, who called the. I guess was a. A straddle the 160 because he didn't raise. That's true. I, Penn's not gonna Penn's call this. Not not. Right. I mean, I say <laughs> that, but uh, Catman didn't make a call when I do soft suit yeah. one day uh, against Jamie. He's looking at a real pretty hand. It's yeah. He's he probably won't, gonna. He won't call either. He's thinking about it, but I don't think he will. Yeah, he he rejams, and then oh wow, Brett's, Brett's loving this. He went all in. Yeah. Of course, he wants to get a count. He's calling for sure. Yeah, there's, you just can't fold here, uh, and that's that's another thing. Especially uh, one of the things, uh, reasons I suggest a slightly larger than ten uh, buying bankrolls because in games like these, you, you just can't be folding Ace King here, and it's going to introduce a lot of variance in your game. Right. Yeah, no, what I coach my people is, is you have the 10 buy-ins. If you're on a large losing streak, if you're down to five buy-ins in that game that you'd like to play, step down momentarily. Get comfortable, like get get back into it. Build the bankroll back up and move back up. And and, and that's what I tell my, my people uh, that I coach. Now, one guy, he has all the money in the world. It doesn't matter. It's, it's not really about the money, but I, I tell him to have his own poker account. And to do the same thing, and this is your poker account yeah. type stuff. Um, my other, the other guy I coach, he uh, <laughs> is trying to do this professionally. He just went, he just was there all the whole World Series of poker, and uh, he did well. He did well. He went. I think he, if I remember right, he said forty-two thousand is up. This is what he got in the in total from the World Series of poker. Um, didn't cash in any of the big events, just cashed in a lot of smaller events. So it helps. What is, is he really is thinking he gonna about lay folding? This down? He's really thinking about folding this. I'm gonna have to have a talk with Brett about this. I can't. Everybody sees it and now starts laughing at him that he's even thinking. We can't. No, oh, Brett. No. What do you got? What do you got? Like I don't. Like if you're gonna fold Ace King here. Ace King I, especially Ace King suited. This is. Never. There's a little more than ten big blinds. Yeah, yeah, but still, I, you, can't, you can't. In this game, you're gonna have trouble prying Ace King away from me. Two hundred for two hundred big blinds. Oh, I mean, it was twenty six hundred to him. Yeah, or twenty eight hundred to Steve. But two full boards. Here we go. Tens versus Queen ten. Right. 
Good flop for 10. Right. Running diamonds or a queen? Running straight, I guess, could happen. Nope. Queen and a queen only now. Does he hit his queen? Nope. nope. But then the diamond out, too. That's not good. Two lost two of a diamond's gone. Next flop. There's a 10. Is it going to be a queen? Oh, nine. Nine. A nine. He gets a quarter. He gets a quarter. <laughs> You know, I really appreciate everybody being here tonight. Uh, was told that we have two more hands to go up the stream tonight. And it has been such a, a great time for me. I really appreciate David being here with me tonight. Um, you get to see a whole completely different side of all of this. It looks the same to me. I just get to see the cards now. <laughs> it's, it's fun. It's all good fun. I, I really appreciate you letting me come back here and try your child. It's, it's, always, it's always easier to have somebody else back here compared to when it's just yourself. So, uh, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun, a lot of good times. He has the four thousand. But I lose the second board. I don't have four thousand. Hopefully, I did a good enough job that y'all will have me back. Oh, for sure. Love to have you in here from time to time. I think I, I think uh, I, what I'd really like to do is get maybe a tournament so I wouldn't have to split playing in the game or or if y'all did a smaller stakes cash game like a one three uh, stream sometime. So I know that we're in talk about having another uh, live stream game. We don't know what days yet, um, but we're looking at still five five ten plus kill. It's going to have a completely di different set of players in it. Um, and we're looking at that one. So, I'm not like I said, I'm not sure what day we're looking at yet. And uh, that's just kind of in talks and in the works. So, there's nothing set in stone or anything. So. That, that game's going to be wild if that ever gets going. 5 5 10 PLO. Those PLO games. Or the PLO games down here get insane. I think they. Um, most houses that that run that game here in Houston, they have a min of 500. They say the max is 5,000, but really there's yeah, no caps. Yeah. It's not really caps. Uh, I didn't play poker for 2,000. Uh, so Ishii makes a comment here and say, and tell Pat that, that I'm cute by the way I type. Um, don't worry, we'll let him know. And I'm sure he'll be happy to go read the comments <laughs> in the, from oh, the he'll, stream. He'll be happy to scroll through. Oh, correct, correct. Let's see if we get some action in the last two. Levi going to open up. Yeah, Levi making it at 150. Matt's going to definitely be involved in this hand. Matt typically likes to choose the more aggressive line, which is good. Yeah. Stream, Looks like 600. 600. Yeah. Yeah. There's more than a thousand is left in the stack. Probably another oh, yeah. three. Well, he may have 16. Does he have 3,000? He had at least two stacks of greens, some blacks, and I think another purple. So it might, be, it might have been. I can't see. That's the moment I can't see. Yeah, there's, there's yeah. more. He has two stacks of greens, so maybe even a third stack with some blacks and everything. Showing 1,900 in his stack. A little, a little under. I think it's a little under. That. Or what it's showing, yeah. A little bit more than what it's showing. So this is our last hand of the night, everybody. Again, thank you so much for being here, guys. Uh, if you haven't already, please make sure to hit the like, subscribe uh, buttons for us. We're at 44 <laughs> likes tonight, which is awesome. Uh, I love to see it. 
And I know that uh, we reached some of our highs here for TCH Houston with uh, live viewership tonight. So thank you guys so much. Uh, again, we really appreciate it. And we will be back next Thursday. Uh, we have the 50K Guarantee Tournament uh, next Thursday. This, this room is going to be packed. So make some plans. Come down. Brett's going to open up. For the last hand, looks like he's going to open up the fourth three of clubs. See if we can get a good one. Oh, Ben. He's definitely going nowhere with this beautiful hand. King nine versus four three. Now, if a club would hit here, club flop or club flop draw would be awesome. It did not hit. <laughs> right. Now coming way, uh, way ahead with the with the pair. It's probably gonna end it here. Yep. <laughs> and a fold. So Brett taking down the last hand of the night, guys, with the kill button. So, again, thank you, everybody. Really appreciate it. And uh, love having you. Again, David, thank you so much for joining me. Yeah, thanks, thanks again for having me. It was, uh, it was great. Yep. We'll see you again soon, everybody. 